Finally, we have done it. It is going to happen once again. It is going to be the commentaries here. You guys have been asking for it. We did the prequels for Star Wars. We did A New Hope. And now we're doing one of the best films of all time, <laughs> and that is Empire Strikes Back. I'm Christian Harloff, and joining me, as always, it is John Schnepp. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Very happy to be here talking about one of my favorite Star Wars films, The Empire Strikes Back. And next to him is the... Ewok lover himself. It is Mark Ellis. Hello, Mark. Yeah, I mean, look, it's nice to get through this two hours of filler before we get Return of the Jedi. Silence! But Silence. I actually, look, look I, I agree that I think this is the best film of all time. I think it's the best film in the Star Wars. It's not my favorite, but I might watch it and it might change my opinion. I haven't seen this entire movie start to finish in a few years, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's been, wow. been a few I, years. I watch it at least three or four times a year. Yeah. Um, and John Campy will not be joining us tonight. We're trying to get him back for Jedi. He's frozen in carbonite. We'll see. Right. If not, we'll definitely get him back. Help for us it. rescue John Carpenter. I love John you. Campion. John I know. Carpenter. John too. Carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> John Carbonite, as well as John Campion. Yeah. So, and we'll be doing The Force Awakens as well. But that's before we get into this, you know, we're also going to be doing this is not the last one. After we finish Star Wars, there's a lot to come. Hello, Mark. There's, oh, hi, oh, Mark. Oh, 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 hi, Mark. 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 We'll be it. messing that up. That's right. Uh, oh, okay, hi, so movie talk. we'll talk about that once we finish the viewing of Empire Strikes Back, just to let you guys know if you want to watch along with us go to the 20th century fox logo and we're paused around eight seconds into the 20th century fox logo you have been warned you have been told exactly where to go we're going to hit play right now eight seconds into the 20th century fox here we go not yet All right. and it's like the hyperdrive doesn't work on the first working. couple times let's try that there we go also hit play. not working there it is okay here we go I don't know film. if we're gonna have a lot of talking during this. Probably all gonna be like this. It's hard well, to no, it's no, hard we, to talk talk to mad, focus. madness on a good film. All right, here we go. Yeah. We'll let you know. Blue titles coming on a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I never get sick of that. No. Or this. It's always the goosebumps right in the, yeah. the second it pops up in the theater though when that happens now. Oh, the magic! Fact that we, the fact that we get yeah. that feeling in the theater every year of the Star oh, Wars title incredible. It's, so great. it's pretty sweet. Well, we think we're gonna yeah. get it with Rogue One. We're not. I think we're, we're gonna, 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 gonna get, sure get it with. I think we're getting. I'm sure we're gonna crawl text. Come on, I think we're definitely should. getting it. It's gonna say. Ro yeah. a, a Star Wars story, Rogue One, instead of Episode. Now look, let me yeah, ask you. Do we think this is the best crawl out of all of them? I still Empire because Brian De Palma wrote it. I mean, I really. I really you know, like Brian, Jedi. Yeah, Star Wars. New Hope. New Hope. I love this, man. I, I took love this crawl. All the Star Wars has been destroyed. This, this, this crawl has a lot of pressure on it because at the end of New Hope, it's like we blew up the Death Star. Right. We saw Darth Vader go somewhere, but we don't right. know. Is there a remnant of the Empire? Is he all by himself? Right. He, yeah, and you know. they don't really tell you how many years it's been, though, yeah. too. And, and um, well, I'll tell you, I mean, after reading all the new canon and everything, too, Battlefront Twilight Company right. and Lost Stars adds a lot when you watch uh, these movies now, especially the Star Wars comics also leading sure. up to it. It's, there's a lot of cool stuff happening because Darth Vader in the comic books, we know he says he's obsessed with finding young Skywalker yeah. here, and they show that. Really all, well oh, in the man, comics. Yeah. Really yeah. well. When people saw this movie in the theater, they're like, "Why is he so obsessed with finding young Skywalker?" Well, right. you're gonna find you're out. Gonna find when out. Did, did you guys are a little older than me? Did you yeah. guys see this? In I the saw theater. this in was the this theater. The first one. No, I saw Star Wars in the th for theater. Did you see Empire in the theater? Do you remember? I was like three. Yeah, I, I was. I was. Saw it though, I was. Intense, uh, but I don't like, remember uh, it. How many years older? Than I like. I was like uh, twelve when I saw, or thirteen. Yeah. I can't remember. But yeah, when I saw good. Empire Strikes Back and ended walking to the theater. I have to say the Blu-ray transfer, of the steel books are amazing. Look at that. Okay. I love these pro droids. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. The sound. And this opening yeah. is very reminiscent of the Force Awakens with that kind of death stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Star Destroyer and then things. See, everyone said that JJ ripped off just New Hope. I think he ripped no. off all three. No, basically, Force Awakens <laughs> has the best of Star Wars and Empire yeah. and Return of the Jedi all kind of crammed and in. And I there love in it. An awesome way. I love the impact. It's amazing. They're in the system. They're That's the right. Burn on the burn. Burn on the burn. I mean, just everything. What's it going to say? This movie's perfect. You're in the system. That looks so much better than the Rocky IV robot. Yeah, it is, that's actually out. his cousin. I love that probe <laughs> droid. Now, remember, the Star Wars. That. Had, yeah, that's Phil Tippett stop motion animation at its finest. Right no, that's there. real. It's a real tauntaun. Real tauntaun. No, Christian, it's no. that is stop motion. That is. And remember, this is the first Star Wars movie yeah. where they actually had a big budget to do like these kind of yeah. effects yeah, and yeah. stuff with. Kirshner, man, also was able to. The music, though, too. 
great debut of Luke. And that was right after he and he had felt he yeah, when he yeah, had that boat accident, accident right? Yeah. Car accident, I think. I it thought was. it was a boat. Was no, it, it was a car. He went through yeah. a windshield. Yeah. Man. Ah, wow. Well, you took a picture with him, you'd know. <laughs> I didn't bring up the car accident. No. If you meet Mark Hamill, don't bring up the car accident. Beardless yeah. here. That's Han, That's Han taking, Han off. taking off. off. Yeah. Why did he leave? It should have stuck together. I know, right? I know he's exploring, but still. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, because Han, Han doesn't even see this big yeah. bastard coming from behind him. I know. You smell something? That's the other thing is we can't just quote this movie. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Well, and he hit him. I mean, that's a, that's a shot. Yeah. Well, that's, the why, they, that's why they put this scene I know. in. Is, I know. Yeah. Because it was facing and the yeah. boat accident. So this yeah. is the first time. <laughs> this Remember, was not a boating not a boat. accident. This movie came out in the 70s. No one was 80. ready. 80. This was 80. No, I mean, 80. I'm saying the Star yeah. Wars movie came out in the oh, 70s. Right, right. No one was ready for this sequel. Everyone was like, what is the next Star Wars movie going to be? So, but when this movie came out, is just everyone was jumping out of yeah, their seats. Man. Is there a guy that crushed more rebellion? And, and and look, he didn't have a lot to choose from because it's a pretty small base. But yeah. you know, Han crushed every piece of ass in this. No base. way, it's Leia, man. He was making her jealous. You don't see. This is where I can say, uh, actually, the canon says no. This is see, why back then you could have said that. But we never used to be the best drinking no. buddies. And everyone, now, every time, Chewie every time. cheered whenever any of these characters yeah. showed up. There's Han. There's Chewie. Mm. Big old lovable dog. Yeah, but he's really good at like working on ships and stuff. Yeah, he is. Good mechanic. And we're going to see his origin now, apparently. Right, he's going to be in the Han Solo yeah. uh, prequel. Now, does the Chewie have a life debt to Han? That's what was always... They always said, talked about it in in, in the Legends stuff, too, and they, they're kind of saying that's going to happen in the next book by Chuck Wending, which okay. is called Life Debt. Oh, wow. Um, so <laughs> that, was that might answer it. Yeah. Yeah. What's that guy's name? Is anyone remember? Uh, General Throg, Frog Face. <laughs> Frog Face. <laughs> Frog Voice. I had this guy had his uh, category. Look at Leia. Yeah. Up she's and down in him. See, bit, he's making her jealous. Yeah, can we turn this up a little bit? I wish that guy would have stuck around more. I love this guy. Yeah, he's he's great. a great actor, but I also love love it. He's like, hey, you're Han Solo. You're here in the galaxy. Yeah. Hey, have a nice life. We don't know, need right. you. We learn, we learn all care. the fates of these humps in Battlefront. Right. She's cold. Nice play. It's the acting here that also, I mean, this this is the stuff that is just makes these movies. <laughs> Good old Ord Mandel. Mandel. Are we ever going to find out about Ord Mandel, you think, in the comics? Maybe in the sequel. Oh, the Jesus prequel. Christ. Is every five what? seconds going to be, I read a comic book and you didn't? I didn't say that. I read a novel and you <laughs> didn't? Say it. Holy God. Schmoes, relax. Film? Come on, I don't make me break you up. Well, actually, hey. on the trading cards, number 38, you beat or the not. Deleted, no, seven, the deleted scene of this sequence is actually it's longer. Longer, yeah. and I'm glad they cut it. Because it, it, work. works, it works so much better the way this, this is cut. That little bastard walking through. <laughs> There's a couple of deleted scenes in this movie that don't work. Yeah. yeah. You could use a good kiss. Scream that. Much better. Yeah. Cut. There they are. There they are. Our friends who are in all of the movies. Yeah. I never, you know, for the longest time, I never noticed that sil silver leg that he had. Me neither. Not for a long, yeah. A long time. Long He's got time. a silver leg? Yep. Yeah. Bottom right. Like in all the movies? Every movie. Yep. You notice he had a red arm in the last movie, right, yeah. Mark? Oh, yeah. Look at yeah. that. Yep. No one ever notices it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we all freaked out about his red arm. Got a green ball bag. No. <laughs> Sack officer. <laughs> it's possible. I love the way I'm so like pissed. Yeah. 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 I'm, just, I'm just happy to be working here yeah. for the rebellion. Yeah. Getting chewed. I just got chewed up by General Solo. Dear Diary, right. talk to Han Solo today. <laughs> yes, Luke might be dead. Right. <laughs> Solo was very displeased with my information. This job sucks. Yep. <laughs> I used to be able to do a pretty good tauntaun. I don't know if I can yeah. do it now. Great mustache. <laughs> Han Solo's jacket is the same thing as that guy's mustache. The other guy's got an even better mustache. Where? Watch... Oh, the other guy, he had like a black, he was like oh, a relief nice. pitcher. Here's one of my favorite lines. Uh, yep. Coming up. 
yeah. proving that there's a hell in That's right. the Star Wars universe. There is some kind of crossover. Well, in the comics. Right. Well, the Good cap- God. Actually, that's not the first time you hear hell no, in no, the Star Wars. No, Force Awakens. Yeah. No? No. No. They're not the Force Awakens? No. no it's it's when, Force when Owen is bitching about Luke, he's like, well, you better be back here by midday or there'll be hell to pay. You're correct. Bam. Ellis with Very the win. good, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first time when, as a kid, though, you watch this and you see him use the Force and you lose your mind. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler. I, see, here's I, this, some of the new footage that I like shot. That. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I it's, think Empire has the best. Empire has the best special edition changes. Right, because sure. they couldn't get the Wampa to actually work right. It was just a dude yeah. in a suit, and it looked kind of funky. Remember the old footage? It was just like a. It was like kind of sliding along. Yeah, and he, well, he comes remember. in a wreck shop inside the base. They yeah. cut all that stuff. But that was all cut. But even in the original cut, whenever they cut away to him, it was like it was just like a sliding kind of shadow right, right. thing. With it just looked weird. It's pretty horrifying though. Yeah, when you didn't see him, I, I just, it, this works that you see him. But I, I also like the Wampa's cave. It's like a two bedroom. Yeah, I like the little I think face. It's a four bedroom. Hey Mark, go. do you know that in uh, in the both the books and the comics, <sighs> um, Luke they show Luke how he starts to learn how to do this. See, you got you know you're 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 somebody special when you can not only get the lightsaber but cut your feet out and not slice one of your toes right, off. Sure, delicate lightsaber yeah. maneuvering. Now, why does a little swipe like that rip that thing's arm off? Right. And when he whacks Vader in the shoulder blade at the end, it doesn't really do anything. Armor versus flesh. All right, yeah, Wampas are answer. mostly fat. Yeah. It helps him survive in the cold. I'll buy it. Surprised you didn't know that from reading the comics. They, they, oh. they, that's retcon. <laughs> that's, that, that's Legends? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to ask uh, Pablo Hidalgo that at a convention. You Excuse should. me. Um, I just made up that Wampas are mostly <laughs> fat. So remember, Sound everybody, effect. most of this has no CG in it. Uh, every time you see it, these tauntauns running around, it's a dude it's moving everything right? yep. frame by yeah. frame. It's called stop motion animation, Mark. It's not claymation. It's claymation like it California has Raisins? It nothing to do with clay no. at all. <laughs> you I'm can going, slap him anytime you I'm want. going to kill Mark Ellis. Can we you think know? about how far <laughs> Han Solo has come, though, since the end of A New Hope when he didn't want to go on the mission? He was like, hey, look, may the force be with you, all that crap. And now, now he's dead. he's actually going out in the freezing snow that's right. to go rescue his buddy because he's concerned about him. That's a that, that's a friendship that has developed. Yep, he actually cares about Luke Yeah, Scott, Well, he's right? always... that's so, He's had, the I think, one of the best arcs in Star Wars of all the characters. Yeah. And sadly, that arc is now closed. Yeah. Right. Spoilers. You've Spoilers. Sure you've seen you The Force seen, Awakens. Yeah. Pretty sure you've seen The Force Awakens. Let's blow this thing, kid, and we all go home. Right? Now I'll see of. you in hell. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Christopher Walken was supposed to play Han Solo. I know. I Isn't saw that. Crazy? The, I, yeah, it would have been a different <laughs> Han Solo. On, yeah. Yeah. Blow it up. Let's <laughs> blow this thing. Go yeah, home. Come on. Yeah. Go home. Love that shot. It's a tauntaun. Yeah, look at that ass. Yeah. <laughs> Hard working ass muscles yeah. on that tauntaun. Very strong creature. <laughs> yeah. He's got that secretariat thighs. Yeah. yeah. There's no fat on that <laughs> I, I'm attracted to horse. <laughs> All right. Look at, oh, boy. Can we oh. get somebody else in here? Uh. He's not doing too well right <laughs> now. I like that I like device. This thing, yeah. 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 Huh? Also, I knew the tauntaun yeah. was going to die. That is kind of. <laughs> I'll leave it alone, yeah. <laughs> i tell you, the, the extras, not great. Oh, we're about to get. The worst live in extra. I know. He's not good either, but. See, that's Cliff Clavin. It looks like Cliff Clavin. It's not him, though. He is in the movie, but this is. Oh, that's not Cliff. Okay. Cliff Clavin from Cheers is in this. Yeah, but. John Ratzenberger. Tuan. In Star Wars terms, that's not horrible. Like, the asteroid is like, <laughs> right. is like a million, a million to one. Yeah. do it. Yeah. So that's not that bad. Yeah, I wanna, you definitely want to go to Vegas with, with, with Han. <laughs> I want to go to Vegas with Chewie. <laughs> See him get pissed off at a bouncer. Oh, true. Rip a couple arms. A couple distractions. <laughs> steal the yeah. chips. Yeah. I think this that is the is best C three PO in all the movies. This is his best. Yeah. yeah. Showing. Well, right there, he realizes yeah. that he went too far. That he's like, oh, my knowledge yeah. isn't always. Right. Well, he's he's an integral part of this entire story. Everything that happens at Cloud City, he's he's a big part of this. And yeah, and I yeah. love that they referenced it in Force Awakens. Not to get to you need to see the Force Awakens, they do. but uh, is is when he interrupts the Han and Leia moment. It's like that's what he does right. in this oh, movie. He oh, does oh, it so well, right? Right. You know? right. And Just in Force Awakens, he's kind of annoying. Yeah. So there, there he is. is. The first time you hear the name.
He's like, I prefer Obi Wan. I'm kind of a Jedi. I would love to be able to go back to the first time you've ever seen this movie and just hear the name Yoda and not know who the hell he's talking about. Yeah. You know? Because you would assume, like he does, a great warrior. Yeah. And you would, you, you yeah. know, is it someone just like Obi-Wan? Is he an yeah. older dude? Right. Like, who is he? Is he human? He's got to be human, right. right? And here's the moment that the Revenant stole coming up. <laughs> Ooh. You know, they actually used to do that in medieval times. Like very rarely, but if they were out in the on the plane somewhere, mm -hmm. they would actually stuff somebody in a horse to. Uh, Did you learn that when you were with Bill and you're flying back in time to, with your phone booth? No, I paid attention in history. Oh. Class. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have one little nugget of of real knowledge on this. This is the best. Second time he's ever Han had Solo it. holding a lightsaber. Yeah. Now that looks I just love, straight I love up gross. Seeing the guts. I always oh, yeah. love seeing the guts Ooh. come out. Here's the floppy sound of Luke getting stuffed into a tauntaun. He really was not friends with that Tauntaun. No. Kills him, talking shit about him. Well, he didn't kill him. He he, he knew the Tauntaun was not going to make it. Come on. Sacrificed. Come on. What Sorry, if that Earl. Tauntaun was actually the chosen one? <laughs> and they blew it. That would have been really bad. <laughs> yeah. The whole movie's over in 10 Love minutes. this scene of the first time you see the snow speeders. And I love how they call back to this guy, uh, who, the guy who finds him. Like, because he's he's part of the uh, the attack. Like once uh, the ATATs come out. Yep. Now you know what's really interesting about some of these compositing effects is when they first released the film, these snow okay. speeders were almost kind of see through because yeah. of the, their their comping technique. Mm -hmm. You can kind of slightly see through them, and this looks like every scene has been recomped and is is really crisp and clean. Right. Yeah. I always loved the way the fresh powdered snow looked in the yeah. morning too. You know. The music t also yeah. the John Williams score like oh, just. Yeah. The sense of urgency. Yeah. It's like Tony Soprano. <laughs> I found them. Repeat. I, found I remember them. as a kid, I could not wait to get a snow speeder uh, vehicle. I like the snow troopers, which who snow were about to Rogue two. Were awesome. Yeah. He's Rogue two. Hmm? He's Rogue two. Well, he was probably a big fan of Rogue one. <laughs> Rogue one, maybe. <laughs> I found them. I wish that guy had more to do also. He craps right. out in the. Oh, well, <laughs> he buried the Tauntaun in snow. Yep, he gave him a little grave. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> See, he little, did care about it. A little pet cemetery. Yeah, Luke, hey, here's Luke a quick, a quick uh, what what kind of bath is he in, guys? Uh, 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 Bacta. Yes, See? sir. Bacta bath. Wow, nice. Fucking nerd trivia, yo. Leia's like, I can't wait to get more. a piece of that. This scene was a lot longer, too. And this is what you playing oh, more off of the oh, Luke and Leia stuff. So this good they cut if, it. Yeah. If anyone thinks that George Lucas had them as brother and sister, no. Nope. Really? Watch the deleted scenes. Yeah. They're, like, about to about kiss, to, yeah. like, really make yeah, it's a, yeah, it was a pure tr love triangle they were going for. Yeah. All right. Great hair. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Very quaff. Yeah. Yep, Luke's concerned. <laughs> My dad loved that line. It's a good line. So he is a nerf herder. Longest time I thought it was nerve herder huh. when I was younger. I went nerf right away because, you know, nerf, nerf guns nerf. and stuff were yeah, awesome. Nerf. Weirdness. Awkward. Brother and sister. Strangeness. Oh, Luke, if you only knew. Don't soak it in. That's one of the classic R2 noises right there. Yep. 
I like that guy's voice. I think General that guy. Viking? I think yeah. that guy's trying to bang Leia. That's why he wasn't upset when General. Why does Sosa he want to bang be? everyone? Yeah. Why can't they just be coworkers? Have yeah. you seen Carrie Fisher in 1980? <laughs> like, oh yeah, like 2006 Harloff wouldn't be going after that. I'm not a 60 year old general. Yeah, that's General <laughs> Reichen. You will, ladies be. and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. That's will be. Well, thanks for the confidence. <laughs> He's losing his mind. I'm reaping all the benefits. Chewie's hair is crushing. What is it? What is the probe droid saying there? Uh, uh, and 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 they use it again. They call it back in Rebels. I know. It's all, and it's also in Force Awakens. Yes. Han loves going out in that. the snow, man. He just yeah. keeps. Anytime you need somebody to go out in the snow, he's supposed to pimp that jacket. Yeah. He's like, look, I got that snow jacket on again. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> I wonder if he still has that jacket. He loves sledding. He was wearing a variation of it in Force Awakens. True. Oh shit. Don't want to wake him up. Bam. Totally had the action figure of Han Solo in his snow. Uh, yeah, snow yeah me too. It's pretty cool. I love how smart Han is right here. He's like, that was too easy. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. yeah, that little face. The Han Solo grimace. Says it too. Uh, let's see and, the Empire. Yep, and I love all the politics here. How the guy's still not really listening to reason here and, and going over it. Almost like not really paying too much attention to Vader and he pays, sure. a, pays a price for it. Great shot there with the shadow yeah. coming over just for the ultimate super star destroyer. Yeah. yeah. Bam. Look how giant that thing I is. I never noticed the way they, yeah, wow. the they intro this yeah, massive ship. Like, there's our fries. There he is. No, my, my, my ship has to be bigger than a Star Destroyer. <laughs> Mine's got to be a Super Star Destroyer. Yeah. It's, it's so epic. Look at that. I love the bridge. It's great. And they show the bridge in uh, in Return of the uh, Red Bench of the Sith. There must be some nerd out there that's turned his house into oh. this. Oh, right? yeah. I certainly hope so. This Louis C.K. <laughs> you mean Admiral Piet? Yeah. Look they all look at him in horror. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't do it. Don't. Oh, you just keep your uh, mouth shut, dummy. Uh, just. I love the, the the look that he gives that Louis C.K. gives yeah. uh, yet right now. Right there. Right here. Mm. No, this one, this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got you, yeah. fool. You That's the thing, though. It's not that hard. It, you made it to officer, so you're getting some sort of paycheck, right? right. All you got to do is get home at the end of the night, all right? right. So Vader wants to go on some Just vacation. Go. Yeah. Just go. Do it. Yeah. Why argue Why with are, him? Yeah. He's going to force choke you. He's the one that's going to get in trouble, not you. No, turn it off. Turn it <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> the subtle comedy. This is proof that not every droid in Star Wars like needs to be a main character. Like, right. <laughs> like it's yeah. just dead weight, right. you know. It's just atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you ever need me for a mission, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we're I good. Don't think yeah. so. You can bear it. You don't even walk. You just kind of swivel around. Yeah, what if Luke just turns around? Not gonna happen, guy. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna happen. That would be fantastic. You hang here in this yeah. plant that's about yeah. to be invaded by the Empire. Yeah. <laughs> or he just turns around, and like, never. It's a yeah. good moment. Goes back to your point before that how kind of far mm -hmm. Han Solo has come. There's that that competition though a little bit you know because they're yeah. both vying for Leia. But that's but that's over. But they're now friends. At this point. Yeah, yeah. Bros before hoes, man. Yeah. He's got five you know Viagra what? tablets on this, his chest. I think that that's um, Alan Horn. <laughs> <laughs> does, yeah. No wonder he's, he bought the movie. He's in, he's in Empire. The planet Hoth just shit itself, seeing yeah. that. I mean. Oh, yeah, I love. Bald I, head. Yes. Our hero, Who ladies and gentlemen. Who is that, by He, he the way? later plays Donovan yep. in uh, Last Crusade, and he's one of those old codgers on uh, Game of Thrones. You're correct. And he's General Veers in this. That's not Veers. That's Veers. 
Who's who's that's, Louis C.K.? That's General Veers. Louis no, C.K.'s P.F. Right? Oh, right, yeah. right. Didn't read the books. So yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just chokes him out. <laughs> does he choke him out through yeah, the right TV? Here. No, but through yeah, the here we go. How does the force work? Well. Admiral Piet. Oh, yeah. Look how dirty his armor is. I love that. Yeah, but I'm saying, so like, does he have like Wi-Fi throughout the whole thing with the Force? Because like, you can't just choke somebody through a TV screen. That's how powerful he is. Yeah, he's choking him through past five oh, Star here's your Destroyers. Boy. Here's your boy. Here we go. This, this is probably the worst line. <laughs> yeah. Worst line in Star Wars history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. It's your big break, buddy. Yeah. Someone he looks kind of tired when he says it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's like, kind of sleepy. Have you been on set all day? Someone, yeah. someone had to have interviewed that guy. Someone had to. Have. He is signing uh, at the next Star Wars yeah. celebration. I, I yeah. really hope that that's true. His name is Floppy Joe. <laughs> Floppy, Floppy Joe McGillicuddy. Yeah, McGillicuddy. Um, oh, this stuff, gosh. again, Mark, jokes aside, Battlefront, um, Battlefront Twilight Company. Right. They talk about this battle, like how they're all setting up and everything. Mm -hmm. and it's it's so straight up like Band of Brothers, Saving Private Ryan, the yeah. way that they set this thing up and, and the horror that these soldiers are going through. Right. It's, Listen, I'll tell a, you this. It's, great. it's an It's an epic battle. It's something you've been training your whole life for, which is why you might want to put a little bit more emotion into your pregame speech right. than two fighters against right. a star. Like, he, die, is, he dies quick. Our first catch the of the fire. day. So now they're like they're trying to escape. Throw that ion cannon. Yep. I mean, look, they're doing what they can, you know? You give them some cover fire, you try to get the transports out. I always love the way that ship looks. Yeah, it looks like, like a, a weird shark. fish. Yeah. Space whale. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Look at Luke. He's just so confident. What's his, what's his buddy's name? Dash. Dash. Right. No, not Dash. Dak. Dak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's not get cocky here, Dak. Yeah. Uh, let's just try to not get stepped on. Uh, his name is Dak Rendar. No, it's not. Dak Death. Yeah. Dak Death. Dak. Dakity Dak Dak. Who those guns? I can't. This is Rogue One gets me so. This gets me excited for Rogue One. If we get stuff. more stuff like yeah, this, we're yeah, gonna, that's exactly what we're gonna get. With those kind of cool, I always love the binoculars. Star Wars binoculars. I don't know why they didn't fashion real binoculars after Star right. Wars binoculars. Flash, flash. Now here's where the Wampa was supposed to cut in. If you watch the deleted scenes, right. R2D2 walks, like, kind of rolls up to a Wampa containment unit. I think that's a testament yeah, they, to. They sicked on the snowtroopers later, is yeah, they open yeah. the Wampa pen. Right. But I think that that's why you, Kirshner is such a great director, man. Like, he, yeah. knew, he knew the moments. So it wasn't, wasn't working. No. Lost Stars has this in there as well. I mean, look, so you got a trench dug. You did what you could. You mounted a great defense against the Empire. I wonder where did that rebel uh, symbol originate from? Is I don't know. The rebel what? Symbol. I wonder if they were going to explore that. It's a fishing hook. Oh. Makes sense. Hence until the they, space fish. So they kill wampus. Yeah. Once again, that's all stop motion animation. Frame by frame, they were just moving those at ats. Wow. It's incredible. It's got to be so tedious to do that, you oh. know? Honey, how oh, was yeah. your day? I moved a robot two inches. It I took know. 12 hours. <laughs> wow, it's better. Yesterday was just one. <laughs> That's right. You're really catching speed. Karen, I sense your tone. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, you should have been a banker. I'm working for the new Star Wars movie. You're not making barely enough money. <laughs> it's not Star Trek. It's a Christmas yeah. party. Oh, Jim moved seven inches yeah. this week. Right. Tell him about your AT at. That's right. <laughs> You're moving these little star dogs around. <laughs> Unbelievable. What do you have? A little green creature today? This is my husband we're talking about. <laughs> oh man, Dak. He moves fire. toys around for his his livelihood. Unbelievable. You're an embarrassment. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. If you're the wife of a stop motion animator, you definitely start drinking at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're the stop animator. Got a wife like that. Yep. Oh, look at that. That's yeah. a great shot. I wish Donovan would have had more to do, though. I loved all the Stormtrooper oh, designs yeah. who were inside the ad, yep. ad I had all mm -hmm. of those figures, all these guys. 
He's just so calm. He's like a pilot. Super you know? cocky. He he's like, like to thank no, you for flying Empire Airlines. Who takes him out, though, right? No, Luke take him out? Huh? no he takes the shields out. Yeah. Who takes him out? He doesn't get taken out. Really? Yeah, his death he's scene. On the, he's on the his, one that survives. He Doesn't one of these no, survive? No, Dude. his death scene got cut out of this oh, that's uh, what sequence. It was. That's yeah. what it was. I knew that I saw him crap out. Rogue two. Rogue two. It's Wedge. Wedge. Oh, Damn, here we go. Right. Wrap it around, son. I love just how, like, this is classic rebellion, yeah. David versus Goliath yep. right here, you know? Use a sling to take down the beast. This is also the balls of Star Wars story. You don't even know who those guys are really yet. And you saw you saw Wedge in, in episode four, but you, yeah. not too much you're attached, but they really gave him that scene to take that thing down. It's amazing. Totally. And you hear a little Ewok noise that they made? Yeah. <laughs> that got him. Wedge getting up emotional. Alan Horn wants out. <laughs> it's very nice so they just got Luke's like X-wing just hanging out waiting. Yeah, I guess X-wings aren't as effective in not in this snow, snow battle, combat. No. Yeah, they need those smaller snow speeders. That's that, again. This is why like attention to that kind of detail. Yeah, is what makes this universe so special. It's, I mean, it, it, look, if the X-wing is the Honda Civic of outer space. You don't drive a Honda Civic to, to Aspen, you know? Right. Yeah, I, the, the amount of power, you really see what that at AT can do. Oh, yeah. the AT-AT the, the just... Look, the chicken walker. <laughs> there it is. Those snow troopers are Those bad. are AT-STs, yeah. right? Those tinier yeah. ones? But we, we called them the chicken walkers when we yeah. were kids. Look, it is a space fish. It is definitely not a chicken walker. <laughs> Soprano's a mess. I know. <laughs> Sopranos has a bloody nose? Yeah. Yeah, he got whacked. He did some blow last night yep. before the big battle. Yeah. So the bada bing. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're yeah. gonna crush the Empire. Yeah. I feel great. Blast. And he's toast. Rogue two is out of there. Is is Luke Rogue One in this scenario? No, Luke's Well, that's a good call. I mean, who's a better pilot right now than Luke? No, I know, but who's I don't think that's the hottest pilot. I think I think now Luke no, is so, he already he's said so, it. He's, he's so awesome. He drags Dak out. He does. He's not going to let his yeah. guy go. No. You know? I used to reenact this when I was a kid. Like, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's be honest though. Luke, he knows cameras are on him, so he's got to act like he's trying to save right. Dak. He's right. going Dak's for the guy's bla yeah. wallet. <laughs> <laughs> like credit cards spill yeah. out. This is where he kicks in the soul yeah. of the leader. Yeah. Man, she pissed. Yep. Did you see that that droid got whacked? Look at that thing. Oh, oh I never yeah. noticed that. Zonked out and dead. Yeah. <laughs> Ellis, that droid got clipped. It's three. <laughs> <laughs> three PO's brother. It's toast, man. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if that little weasel took him out. <laughs> you can see C three PO being a little bastard. <laughs> the guy wasn't even listening to a word she said. <laughs> Get your transports. Huh? Yeah. My wife doesn't like my job. <laughs> right. I guess you're going yeah. to die on Hoth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, not good. Picking him off. Yeah. That is not good news. Here we go. Love this shot. Yeah. Scrimp on up there, dude. Look at balls, man. Yeah. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with him, how he's going to... Love this. Every yeah, time they use a lightsaber, man. Is he going to so sit awesome. back now, or is he going to do sh stuff like this? Is he going to just run after people? And I don't think he's like doing stuff like this. Damn. But I'd like to see detached. him do stuff like that. I don't think he's going to. He's going to get in a lightsaber battle. Uh, yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi got in a lightsaber yeah, yeah, yeah. battle. Yeah, yeah, I want to see Luke get into yeah. this one. Chicken Walker. Yeah. yeah. A little fireworks display. Oh, that's sad. Bam. Okay, so the one got tripped up. This one, Luke had Head to off. had to cable up into. It. You know, the next time <gasps> the rebellion had a meeting after this battle, they're like, "Okay, guys, we need to invest in a lot more cables." That's the only thing that works <laughs> against the Empire. That's an awesome shot. Yeah, it is. It always bugged me when that Adat's head exploded. It goes to black. 
Like the whole frame goes to black yeah. for like three, four, three or four oh, frames. Oh, I love that nice shot. Nice shot. There's a lot of death going on in here. Yeah, and they just, I mean, this was, this. It's rated really PG, fa- yeah. but, but yeah, taking them it out. would have been PG-13. Maybe. Maybe. The shields it, are exploding I don't right think there. PG-13 existed at this point. Yeah. No, it did not. No. no, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Yeah, yeah. if it was eighty four, this scene just fits. Wampas the title. are in there. Yeah, and this is when they come in and like you see the other side yeah. of the soldiers are getting wrecked by Vader right now. Right. Clutch oh. play. He probably had his buddy do that. Yeah, you know, yeah. It was, the combo like wasn't even working. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a great yeah, shot. I'm telling you. I got to give you Woo-hoo! that scene, Ellis. You got to read it where he just wipes out soldiers left and right. Is that Was that TSA right there? Did he just walk through the metal detector? <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Typical. <laughs> Come on. A C-3PO for... Pretty fun, fast for yeah. the stupid cyborg. Really good job. One of the oh, cyborg, whatever the hell. One of the underappreciated aspects of Empire Strikes Back that I always love is the interaction of Han Solo and Darth Vader, two characters you necessarily didn't think were going to cross paths at all. Right. This is the first time that they have a near miss, and yeah. then when they the dinner scene, you had a dream about the, the dinner, dinner scene. scene is one of my favorites. You had in, a dream about that dinner scene. I had many dreams about that dinner scene. <laughs> And thus begins the jokes on the Falcon. Right. They're definitely the best jokes that, that hit are in this in this movie. It's a little Fonzie stuff there. Oh, yeah. It's nice to know that even in a galaxy far, far away, sometimes you, you had something break down and your friend just got out and pushed yeah. from behind. Right. I love this little gun that pops out. It's the best. Yeah. See you later, snow dick. doesn't matter what convention you go to, whether it's the heat of the summer or what, you always see that snow guy. troopers in, uh, in costume. Oh, yeah. Look at that gun. That's this is, a, this is a cool gun. costume. Yeah. And why couldn't Vader catch the Falcon? Slow he was down still tired him. from choking the other Admiral from right. across the Star This was Destroy. always... I always had this question. All the X-Wings are all parked outside, and, and the Empire's not attacking them. Why? Like, why, why is there no Empire finding them right now? Right where they are right yeah. here? Well, I think... Well, they set up... The, the Rebellion set up their offensive on the other side of the base. So that's where they were sending their ad mean, ha- Luke wasn't Luke was on foot. He wasn't that far away. Well, Luke is a Jedi, so he's fast. Oh. He's like Daryl Green. You making excuses? Right. I see. Plus, it doesn't make any sense. Right. So, look at what are all those little tiny little planets friendly that planets they, yeah. that they could. That's have been my question: on. Is how does Luke get off scot free, and where are all the star destroyers? That's what yeah. I just said. What, when he takes off? Yeah. Yeah. In outer space. Oh, you were saying attack. about the ground. Assault. I was in both. Yeah. And he's your, crap, he's both of your questions make sense. There is no answer. There is no spoon. No, the force is the answer. The it's force always is the, yeah. the answer. You know, R2-D2 just wrote it, so I go, <laughs> we going to go to Carl's Jr. and get some bitches? <laughs> Damn you, R2. <laughs> so yeah, the Millennium see, Falcon one, yeah. flew right into where all right. the Star Destroyers are, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? Luke, pro- because Luke sees the Millennium Falcon take off, and he's like, that is not the way I'm yeah, going. I'm not going that way. Yeah. Yeah, they really went to the bad spot. Yeah, you got to deal with the Empire. You got to deal with an asteroid field. Yeah. Luke didn't have to deal with any yeah, of that this stuff. This asshole droid. <laughs> Great maneuvering. Yeah. yeah. Just, I love this shot. Oh, the, uh, that's so awesome. That's where the effects really picked up from three years ago is all the other, like, aerial maneuvers right. you can do. But this movie never stops. There's never a moment you were just like, ah, oh, this is the bad part. It just... Bing bong. Love it. That's what you get for letting a dog work on your fucking spacecraft. Leia has some great facial reactions. Yeah. Hydro span. Oh, look, I love that shot. Like, now I've seen The Force Awakens. Ah, oh, so great. Yeah. 
Is this the first commentary that we've had done to hurt. since Force Awakens? Since Force Awakens, Force Awakens, yeah. yeah. That's an experienced pilot right there. Yep. But just, it's so great to see the detail. Is a fly on his head? All right, favorite shot right there. Bam. What? What's the number? Surviving an asteroid field is twenty-one thousand. Three hundred and seven twenty. What a cool shot! Everything in this is amazing. Yeah. The music. <laughs> Music's great here. <laughs> Boom! Peace out, sucker. <laughs> Larry always said he wanted to be in an asteroid field yeah. battle. Whoa. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> 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 Chewie's face was amazing. <laughs> Clear this transfer is, man. <laughs> One Falcon against 4,000 asteroids? <laughs> so badass. Yeah. You know what? We had never seen anything like this. No when this way. movie came out, this kind of incredible oh, yeah. space action. like It was so much more than what they even did in, in episode four. Unbelievable. Look at these four. shots. Yeah. Are, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> the shot up and then yeah. zoom back down. Beautifully storyboarded. I yeah. mean, it's the kind of thing that people take for granted nowadays. Absolutely. This was groundbreaking. This is at the time. dated. But you know what? It's not dated. No, Watching it, it right now, this is yeah. better than most trash that's uh, out there. You know? And I love how the score goes from that really intense The Empire Strikes Back music into the Han and yeah. Leia theme, and it's just like, ah, we did it for now. I like that the Millennium Falcon has the little headlights mm -hmm. to turn on right there. Sound is so incredible in this movie. Yeah. Do you think they're automatic headlights like the ones in Cars now? Do they get the manually turn yeah. them on? No, it looked like they're automatic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why, um, it, Dagobah does not look green. It, it looks like Hoth. Um, let's see it again. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, you, you, you know what? When it's, you land in, it, it's got all that smoggy fog right, around right, it. Right, right. That's right. That's why. He reads the books. <laughs> why, I read the books. <laughs> You're competing with Chewie for best hairdo right Dagobah now. Dagobah would be a really <laughs> hard place to live. It's a I mean, dog. When you think about Yoda being just deposited there. Yeah. It's not like when Ben Kenobi trained with Yoda, it wasn't on Dagobah. No. So where was it? When it was at trained? the uh, yeah. Academy, right? Like, was it? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Coruscant? What, for, which, for which training? For training for when, ben when Kenobi. Did, when did Obi-Wan train under Yoda? Ben Kenobi in, in, in trained. Coruscant. Yeah. yeah. Ben Kenobi is, that's who yeah. Yoda but trained Ben Kenobi. In, in Coruscant. I mean, Qui-Gon did. You know? you know, that scene. I know, but they like the, in this version of Star Wars, Yoda trained Ben. Well, they uh, added Qui Gon later. So when well. they were, uh, yeah, but yeah, Yoda, everybody's got a pass. That like, it's like when you're a black button, you chop bricks in front of a bunch of people. Yoda's right. like the main yeah. dude. At the Jedi got. Temple. Yeah. Okay. Some of these scenes right here were filmed in George Lucas's pool. <laughs> I'm no, I'm serious. <laughs> really? I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Some of these were filmed in George Lucas's pool. Yeah. Not this, because um, this is Pinewood Studios right here. Yeah. You were talking um, about some cool stuff. Shooting a Pinewood yeah. for that long. Yeah. yeah. Wow. They had this entire thing. Um, but the way out. that this swamp looks is so good. Was oh, this man. all in a studio? Yeah, Pinewood. They never went to a swamp location? It looks so good. Now, did you guys hear for Rogue One that Dagobah, is, uh, this entire set has been rebuilt? Dagobah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, you're funning us. Nope. You're joshing. I am not. I would love to see Dagobah return. I don't know why they'd have it, why they'd yeah. turn it. They That's where they're going to run into Han Solo for we two seconds. We don't need seconds. to see Yoda in Rogue One. I... Who knows? Are you writing the script? I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, need, I don't need to see Yoda in Rogue One. I'm, just, I'm good with Vader. I'm, I don't need to see any of the classic. I'm glad characters. that R2 can like live under all that horrible water. Not for long though. He's. Yeah. I'd say R2 is water yeah. resistant. Better than my iPhone. I'll you tell know? you that. Oh man. <laughs> now what is that creature? And did they ever make an action figure of it? And what does it look like? Right. Can you get it on eBay? I don't Should know. Check that out. All you can get is the back. All you can get is the spine. Yeah. Just listen a little. Yeah. Yeah. The there it is again. Here, man. I yep. think those were the scenes filmed in the pool. Like right here. It's like the bog of eternal stench. 
It really does. Right. Yeah. I just love how muddy it sounds. Whee! <laughs> now, this stuff here, this is... Once he sits down, he's talking about how everything seems so familiar. He's having visions. Like, what's what's the deal? Well, uh, uh, you is somebody... You they haven't can, explored it yet. You can enlighten us. Yeah, because they haven't explored it yet. Well, you know what? In the comics, you mean? But he's been training. I mean, look, look, Luke, between the end of A New Hope yeah. and now, was doing a lot of yeah, yeah, force-related yeah, right. activities. Absolutely. He's, he's been investigating temples. Yeah. Right. Doing I'm not saying he's been here, but I'm saying that, like, in his meditations yeah. or something, he might have seen this in, like, a ray-like vision. Yeah. You know? You know what they, he did see it in his in the book called A Splinter of the Mind's Eye because right, Alan Dean Foster wrote about a you know, but, a foggy uh, planet. Yeah, that they went and found that mind. But that crystal. is now legends, right? Is it legends? It's yeah. not part of canon. No. Splinter of the Mind's Eye was that a uh, Alan Parsons project? It was disc? an Alan Dean Foster disc. Yeah, uh, who Alan Dean Foster wrote the novel for Force Awakens, which is canon. Yeah. Here you go, Ellis. Look She's at this tasty this. forehead. I back love this. I told you to knock. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that helmet? Yeah, you want some more helmet? Listen to the sound. Yeah, it's the same sound in, in Revenge of the Sith. Oh man, funk! You, you know that's the same way they put on uh, Travolta's yeah. hairpiece. Oh man, <laughs> same exact way. Somebody buys cheeseburgers. Oh, <laughs> love how terrified he is. Yeah. That's how you're subservient. It's like it's like I know this isn't gonna work. I'm probably leading y'all into your death, but I'm collecting a paycheck. Right. My family's taken care of. <laughs> I think Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher did it a couple of times. You got it. It's the '80s, you yeah. know. Cocaine is everywhere. She's but, she's openly said, you know, she she played with the nose candy. Think he did. Um, no, he was he probably was out, yeah, like I think he Harrison Ford at this point was married to Melissa Matheson, oh, okay. and he was a carpenter, and oh, a right. faithful husband. You oh, fucking right. weirdos! I didn't know that they were married. I don't. I don't I you mean, guys are so sexed he's up the about this actor in the Harrison Ford. <laughs> Carrie Fisher's <laughs> boning everybody. I would say if anything, Carrie Fisher may, might have hung out with George Lucas. <laughs> hey, I I asked whether or not they did. Oh look, see, look at this. Look at the chemistry. That's called acting. Yeah, they have good chemistry. <laughs> chemistry carries over. Yeah. Oh, what a Damn, I know. A good smile too. He ripped that off from Anthony and Gruber. That smile. <laughs> you know, George Lucas was uh, hooking up with Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> I'm serious. No, it is very true. Yeah. You know who she dated after George Lucas? A young Jim Carrey. Nice. Bam. I think, really? uh, Luke and R2 were doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, you learned that in your history phone booth? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Tupac. I'm a dog. Who's our next comic? <laughs> uh. Uh. Plug this in, baby. <laughs> Look at the snake right there. That always freaked me out how many snakes are just everywhere. <laughs> the hell out of my office. Who's in there? Riley. Oh. All right. When I was in college, we had this. I wasn't a huge fan of her. She was a professor, and she mentioned that the, that the lightsabers in Star Wars were like a phallic kind of symbol. Mm -hmm. I get it in this scene because it's hanging on his belt like it's a thing. Right. Do you guys see any credibility with that? No. Like, look at how big my Schwartz is kind of thing? Nope. Really pissing Schnepp off. You know what? I did like the weird. The <laughs> Marriage weird is a sanctuary. Yeah. The weird stuff that he's like eating. I was yeah, what like, is what that? What is yeah. that little weird biscuit thing? Yoda tries to eat it, and he just yeah. throws it out because I don't know what diseases this skunk has. <laughs> Great pause. <laughs> See, way more effective yeah. than a CGI. Oh, I love that yeah. look. <clears throat> it's the first hint that we get that this might be somebody of yeah. importance. Good quote. Oh, yep. A little knowledge, dropping knowledge. The out. guy's like Yogi Bear. He's a walking quote. So yeah. check it out. Deep Roy, the actor, played the walking Yoda oh, in really? any of these scenes. Anytime you see a real, like. Uh, really? Yeah. He who's, was at, who's taller, him or Warwick Davis? Um, 
I think Deep Roy is a little bit uh, taller. So that's Deep Roy right there. Yeah. I love when he goes. I, that's one of my favorite shots. Yeah. I remember is like, but when he goes, no. so well done. So Yoda's ass. No. Yeah. He just throwing stuff out. Yeah. yeah. This is part of the bit. Yeah, and that's Yoda's, all Yoda's, puppeted. Yeah, this is yeah. such amazing puppetry. But right Yoda's there. A, Yoda's method, like he's this, we know Yoda's wise. He's just kind of yeah. playing the bit. He was always fun and kind of goofy. Totally. Well, he's also not he's seen test- a life form in a while. Well, he's testing. He can he's talk testing to. him. He knows yeah. he that who he is. Right. Yeah. It's all a test. See how annoyed he's gonna get in his anger and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 30 years ago, he was doing flips, attacking Christopher Lee. Now, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that's a Muppet move right there. Uh, oh. It was. It was very labyrinth also. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Love that they're bringing Frank Oz so back. I mean, Frank back. Oz is incredible, yeah. and all you know, this. Do you know that he shot an actual scene for The Force Awakens? No. They were, well, they had him. They had, they had him do it. But he did voiceover. There he is. There's right? Deep yeah. Roy right yeah. there. That shot. They had him do dialogue for it, and then they cut it. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's actually not supposed to just. It's supposed to be. I think that he's going to turn up as a Force Ghost in Episode Eight. I certainly hope. So. Yeah, you got to put the smart money on both him and Kenobi. Yeah. You know? So it's been rumored pretty heavy. Remember Light Bright? Making things with light? Yeah. Light Bright, oh, making yeah, things with light. <laughs> light Bright, making things with light. Bright Mark Ellis. <laughs> it's weird that you're singing it and looking right at me. Yeah. I liked it. I thought it was very nice. I mean, feel good about myself. <laughs> I'm going to stop making sex jokes now about uh, Leia and Han. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, crack as many sex jokes as you want. All right, here we go. So, <laughs> <laughs> get over here. Got them sexy welding goggles. I know, right? <laughs> they must kind of. She just fixed yeah. whatever that thing is. Oop. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is this line. Good move. Confirmed, by the way. Confirmed. I know I'm going to get an argument out of you. This is confirmed. He doesn't say, I am nice man. He says, I'm a nice man. Yeah. Let me hear it. He, you put the subtitle on. He says, I'm a nice man. It was confirmed by Pablo Hidalgo also. I'm yeah. a nice man. Yeah. I'm, sounds like he says, I'm a nice man. Yeah. That's some people thought he yeah, said. Yeah, Napsok thought he said, I'm a nice man. Ken Napsok was convinced. For a lot of people are convinced. Maude Garrett, another one. No, but nice why, men. why does it man- matter? Because she says, I like nice men. He's I'm a nice man. He said, I'm a nice man. Yeah. I know, but he's saying. But it's conf- it works either way. Either it way, does, it works. It me, works but either way, but he's, but he, the line is, I'm a nice man. Yeah. We're, we're he just missing. The, 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 oh, I love that. When the dude disappears and <laughs> got hit with an asteroid. Right, right. This is when the Emperor shows up. Mm. Yep. And replaced Emperor really works. It does. I feel bad for the actor who yeah. played the Emperor. His name is Clive Ravel. Oh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's still doing conventions, so. Oh, he played the Emperor in the yeah. original Emperor. Yeah. Oh, okay. With the monkey eyes. Yeah, that, it was, so. it, it, that was why they replaced him, because he's not the Emperor that they were right. going for. Do you guys Makes think sense. it's coincidence oh. that, like, oh, the now, Emperor's coming. The now, Emperor's coming. now Vader's really pissed off because some guy just made out with his daughter? Nah, he doesn't know yet. He's yes. like a prom Here prom night dad. Look at that big yeah. gullet. Yeah. 
You can freeze the fat with that now. See, this is where the cannon gets tricky, though. Why is the cannon get tricky? How is that possible? Vader knows this at this point through cannon. I think he's playing dumb, maybe, maybe. for the Emperor. Maybe. Yeah. It'd be really funny if the Emperor, like, like when he checked in with Vader, he just told him all this crap you already know. Like, like he was so out of touch. Like, did you hear That's the Death Star's right been there. destroyed? He's just a boy. And he's yeah. saying all this stuff right there. <laughs> did you hear about Alderaan? Good thinking. Okay, see, that's my question, though. Is like, so Vader, Vader's the guy that brings up, hey, what if we can get Luke to join us, right? right. But we always know the rule of two. So yeah, that wasn't really created yet, though. Well, the rule of two, he says in this movie, he says, join, join me and help me rule this right. galaxy so as I'm, father and I'm, son. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking saying, that the Emperor is using Vader so we can get a younger apprentice, yes. and I'm thinking Vader is thinking, I'll go get this yep. kid, then I'll knock the Emperor yes, off. That's absolutely exactly. the reason. I mean, even yeah. though I think it's, that's where two kind of, the rule of two kind of stemmed from. Right. Yeah. Well, another snake! Yeah. yeah. There's like a ton of real snakes yeah. in here. It's underrated how much... Luke Skywalker has to do with snakes on this planet. Yeah. He eats a lot of weird porridge he really and strange does, yeah. things in this movie, too. Mm. Stay on target. You know that stew's got to taste like shit. Oh, yeah. I don't got to deal with this. Our thing's getting a little grainy. We're hoping it disappears soon. Oh, it's getting trippy now. Yeah. It's like acid trip. Not that I would know. Uh, just, and just for safety's sake, who brought the... Was it, Schnapp. Was it you? Was it Christian. It? <laughs> I cannot try it. It's getting impetuous. That's what? awesome. There we go. We're back on track. Don't curse it. I love how he realizes it. See how Ben says when I when you taught yeah. me, it's like Qui Gon. That shit's added later. I know. Just gotta accept it, though. It's the problem. I know. So how old is Yoda at this point? I think he gave himself a little bit of a rounding down. I think he's probably like 890. Yeah. No, I think he's like 870. And then in Jedi, he's like, I'm almost 900. Right, right. right. I'm watching him. Yeah, see, he's been he's playing yeah, a little yeah. joke they, on him. Dude, they played the that they played into that in Rebels too because he is watching over people. Yep. And he's able to watch the kind of what they're doing. Well, he must be doing something because he's certainly not grooming himself. <laughs> he's got hair going everywhere. <laughs> smell like an alley cat. <laughs> he smells so bad. Yeah. Yoda's about to get pissed off at Kenobi. Yeah. Stop chiming in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So was I, if you remember. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> In no, the kitchen, just, I must yeah. see you. No, we just have his feet off. His, his, <laughs> he's got his shoes off. Just put them on the table. That's right. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, here comes my Best. line. Oh. The rain coming I down know. in the window. It's so good. I wish he leaned in one third time. Yeah. And then you he coughed will. on him. You will. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that would happen like yeah. a Mel Brooks movie. Tie bombers. Look at them. <laughs> Tie bombers. Yeah, those yeah, are pretty awesome. sweet. Boom. It's kind of a waste of ammo, to be honest. Yeah. Dude, that's Vader is now like possessed because somebody made out with his kid, and the other kid has now met Yoda. So Vader's like, yeah. we got to spend every resource. Yeah. Bomb everything. Yeah, that would be like what the hell just flew by. Yeah, this that's kind of what that's the difference between like the the Rathgars and the Minox, right? 
Like these things were creepy. Yuck, too. They're pretty gross. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> As Hans was telling him to shut the hell up. Yeah. Chewie just said, I am true. <laughs> so where are they? They're not, they're like they're in the belly lower of esophagus, I'd say. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're not probably not yeah. in the stomach. Right, yet. right. Stomach acid of something like this would definitely kill him. Yeah. He's got a big long neck, so. Still in his neck. It's esophageal moisture. There it is. There's right that line. Yeah. <laughs> We get a good look at what those things are. Mm -hmm. They never sold Minox as toys, I don't think. No. They should have no. sold them as like cleaning equipment. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that would be great. I love how smart he is. Yeah. He's been in every situation yeah. in the galaxy. <laughs> God, I mean, John Williams was just on point. This is new this. music too, right? No. Or was this was this in a new hope? Yeah, no, oh, this oh, is oh, I think yeah. Matt Damon was it re Oh no, yeah. no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forearms chewy in the neck. <laughs> Yeah, they're not that far away. <laughs> I love that. Nice. Sock puppet. It's Phil it's Tippett, too, right? It looks amazing. Yeah. That's actually live action. They just did, it wasn't stop motion. They just did a sock puppet. Like a you just see, like, some dude's hairy forearm. Like, pretty much. There's a dude on, on inside there. Love this scene. Yeah, see, they, they could have gotten the band Survivor to do this. <laughs> so what's your guys' guess as far as how long did is Luke been on Dagobah training? At this point? I mean, I, I, I think maybe a week. A week at the most. At this point, yeah. I mean, because how long have, have Han and Leia been out in that asteroid yeah. field? Right. I think, I think, I think maybe a couple of days. Because as far as time right. moves slower in space, so they're... Yeah. You guys hear this is a true story. There was an astronaut, and he came back after a year, and he had grown two inches in outer space. Yeah, no, for sure. They just got him back like a couple weeks ago. Weird, huh? Yep. <gasps> what was that? Well, that's because he didn't have gravity weighing him down. I'd be here all week. That's right. <laughs> Have you seen those memes where they have like oh, Yoda yeah. whispering all crazy yeah. mad stuff? It's like the stuff Ellison oh, will be okay. saying to you this whole time. That's right. Do you guys think Luke makes Ray go sleeveless, or do you think it's a little creepy? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like, no, I'm just saying I had to wear sleeveless. Yeah, you know, got to be sleeveless. Do yeah. what your dad did. <laughs> your nails are really digging into my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Put me down. Yeah. Yeah, Yoda's like, it's about time I... Hamill had some guns, man. No, he's in great shape here. Yeah. Yoda has taught him well. Yoda's messing <laughs> with him, right? Now, I wonder what would happen if he didn't take his, his saber in. Because he, he tells him you don't need your weapon. Right. He would have gotten freaked out. And because Yoda goes into this cave during the Clone Wars. And, and some... What does he set up? Goes down. No, he just he figures it out. He figures out there's a presence. This is where he kind of learns the power of the force. Wait, so on but, but this off. Vader, it, it it couldn't actually. It's like a dream sequence. It's not a dream. It's kind of like a vision, right? Yeah. So there's no real danger for Luke. 
No, but he takes he tells he tells him don't take his weapon. Yeah. Don't take your weapon. He takes it anyway. Yeah. Right. So, so if we didn't take his weapon, he'd just see a weird you know be- That's what I'm curious. I'm curious yeah. what would have happened. Like what else would he have seen? He should he should have listened to Yoda. Yeah. Well the, the audience would not have gotten that hint. Another goddamn snake. Mark Hamill was fearless of snakes. That's right. The audience wouldn't have gotten that hint that Darth Vader was in fact his right. father. What? It's a hint. Right, but maybe if he didn't, oh. if he didn't take the lightsaber, maybe he would have realized it, the, the all of it would have been a lot clearer. Is that a snake too? Yep, it's another snake. Lots of snakes here. A lot of living stuff on Dagobah. Dude, I'm terrified of snakes. Are you? I can't. Even, yeah, not a big gator fan what? myself. Yeah, yeah, there's another one. Pretty sure Mark Hamill got bit by one of these. Did snakes. he? Yeah. Just turns around and. Yeah. There's another one, Mark. Yeah, no, I, um, I, I'm, I, I'm like, Dagobah, huh? like oh, look at that guy. Yeah, I'm fine with that What's guy. That thing's name? Flappy. <laughs> That's another snake. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Now this is very much like Splinter of the Mind's Eye right here. Bam! You know when you see this image because this is right out of that book. Right. Oh boy. Yeah, like when you see this for the first time, you're probably like, wait, what? Yeah. No, but you're also, I mean, your heart's in your throat yeah. right now. That snake's even freaked out. Yeah. The fact that, that that's, Ray has that saber now is pretty awesome. Yeah. There it comes. Get out of town. All right, well, we can go home. Yeah, it's over. I wonder if anybody picked that up first time watching it. I read, I, I used to go on, like, chat boards all the time, and, like, you know, when that was the cool thing to do, like, my, with my AOL 10 free hours disc. Right. Yeah. And this guy was, like... He, Super he, Shadow? He was like, he was, you know, he's asked me what I was wearing and stuff. Um, no, but he, um, <laughs> but, but he was like, no, I, I remember seeing that because he read a lot of like, he watched Flash Gordon when I mean, he was yeah, a kid yeah. and all these stuff. And he's like, when I saw that happen, I leaned over and whispered to my wife that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. Damn. This is one of my favorite oh, yeah. all time scenes. Yeah. Look at all these. I don't all like the bounty hunter interviews. This is a replacement I don't like where they do, get rid of, uh, what's his face's vo- uh, voice? I love Jeremy. I Ray, love this. Uh, yeah, Bullet I love up. this. You couldn't wear shoes to the biggest yeah. job interview of your life. I got a chance to moderate a panel with all the living bounty hunters. Oh, Bosk yeah. still yeah. does. That. Yeah. Yep, that's Zuckus, yeah, Forlom, Bosk. Of course, Here Boba Fett, IG88. Here, IG88 is made up of containers from the cantina scene in One Star Wars. One of my Wars. favorite yeah. questions yeah. I've ever got on Jedi Council, and I pose it to you now will we see boba fett do a disintegration in rogue one wow um, that a great question that is a great question i think you'll see him doing the solo movie yeah you that'll know, be at, yeah but no but if, he's is, not working for vader boba he's been working fett, for vader yeah boba yeah but you know you're seeing boba one? fett in the solo movie it's rumored that he is right well you, see, you, you would assume so yeah i don't think you're gonna see him in rogue one i think you are you've heard that uh, rumors christian rumors you you, you know people Remember those ships we talked about on Jedi that they, that they, oh the, sl- the yeah, sl- yeah yeah look how pissed off Princess Leia yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, I do. I think I think Boba Fett's going to wind up being in Rogue One. I wouldn't have a problem is. with it. I mean, he, I think he's going to yeah. definitely do a disintegration because it'll play into this, right? Especially if if uh, Darth Vader has him on some mission. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Well, is it? Is, I mean, like, it's I it's canon that. that right before or right after that, I guess he was hanging out with Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. In a New Hope. Yeah. Right. Looking for Solo. Right. right. Yeah, but he could also be he working for Darth missions. Vader. He's also working for Vader in the comics. Yeah. yeah. Which I read, by the way. I don't know. If you know. <laughs> Guy's got great white feather yeah. hair. That is some perfect hair. Scott Bakula is in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is Scott Bakula right there. <laughs> and Michael Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. No. Uh, no, yeah, make an underling do it. Don't be a That'd martyr, be a, you stupid douche. You're about to choke out. This, this might be a little excessive. <laughs> 
Is I'm, all I'm saying is that if Luke makes Ray do this, it's going to come off as creepy. Yes. Yeah, do a handstand. Uh, uh, balance, balance me on your foot. There. Is this, yeah. I'm no, that gonna, would be a weird scene to see Ray yeah. hanging out with yeah. Luke on her foot. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here on this rock. See, R2 is just like cheerleaders, like cheering them on. Every time, I would always watch this scene, particularly after school, for whatever reason. And I always was rooting for Luke. And I'm like, dude, you're going to get it this time. You know? Yeah. I, you, just, you just keep using that force hard enough, you're going to get that thing out. Oh, hey, Christian, man. I, I think that Little scene, Caesars. Look, so it just the... the um, X-Wing totally went under and now they keep cutting back to it and you still see a part of it. I think that scene where you see the X-Wing going down is George Lucas's pool. Oh, is it? It just seemed like... See, it, I think they showed it go completely under and yet you still see it there. No, no, no. It was, al it was already out a little bit. I L think it's, it? it's okay. sinking in. I but think it goes under. It rebounds. Tries. He tries and then the whole thing goes under. All right. Try not, motherfucker. Are you kids watching? That should there be your senior is quote. No try. Excuse me. How far do you guys think you could get it out? I think I could go halfway. That's what she said. I I, I saved it. I didn't do it. I did a little Ashley for you there. <laughs> I don't know. Luke could only get it that much. Maybe I couldn't get it halfway. Yeah. So, man, Yoda, come on. Give yeah. him a break. Yeah. Got bummed out of you. <laughs> Yoda just gave the Danny Glover. I'm too old for this shit yeah. look. <laughs> Training him in this long, he can't even do an X-Wing. <laughs> he's, he's like, this isn't the guy. <laughs> I know, right? There's another. At least, thank God, there's another. What are you talking about, Ezra? <laughs> <laughs> Yoda's like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Darth Maul. Who the? Who are these people? What's a Qui Gon? I love this. this. Is not. This is one of my favorite lines from Yoda. Is the Force? There is no crude, luminous beings. Yeah. You know. Let this crude matter. Yeah. You want to hit? Welcome to the Rock. Yoda had a full head of hair yeah. when he was younger. And this is when you forget Dude, that that's a hand puppet. Eight hundred years. Yeah. I know. It's such great acting. I mean, yeah. Yoda. Yeah, I mean, the attention to detail too on his face. It's just such perfect acting. Yeah. That for some reason, I don't know why they were able to weren't able to replicate that in Phantom Menace when they went back to using the the puppet yeah. Yoda. This was just incredible. Luke's all mopey, well, get, giving up, the, the going to his also room. A lot different in Phantom Menace than it yeah, did. It did. It totally. Why didn't he just use this one again? Yeah. Only 30 years. Oh, he's about to bitch slap Luke. You know, because The Force Awakens echoed A New Hope so much, you wonder if there is going to be that scene when Rey is trying to use it and it just isn't working for her. Because she's so much more advanced than Luke was yeah. right. at this stage. Well, we also that, don't know. We also don't know how if she'd been trained before. Right, right, right. Right. So is Luke going to have some like badass moment? Because this is Yoda's moment where it's like, oh, this is the best Jedi in the world right here. Right. You know. So is Luke going to have that moment? And what's that moment going to be? Is it going to be with an object, or right. is it going to be with a fight? Right. What's going to be with? When she's really going to see what he's capable of. Yeah. Right. This music is phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> Riley's in the back do, doing the orchestra like uh, John Williams. That's so beautiful. Riley's been conducting us. Yeah. And I look at Yoda, he's like, ah, I did it. Yeah. I'm well, taking a nap. I, this is one of my favorite lines. He's just like, I don't believe it. That's why you failed. <laughs> Weirdo.
Whoa. Write Bam. that down. Yep. Lesson learned. Believe in it. There's uh, that dumb Admiral's shuttle going to get choked out by Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have shown up. Should have blamed yeah. the yeah. It's a terrible death. Blame the gray-haired guy. I know. Yeah. It was feather hair. Captain oh, Nida. Captain Nida. Just a little bit of that sense of humor that we got from Hayden Christensen. Right. <laughs> How's he standing up? He's dead. No, I don't think he killed him. I think he just I think he just really injured him. He's That's, like, damn yeah. it, I'm Admiral now? You know, that guy's got a wife at home. He should have made you by Admiral. He, he should, well, why are you Admiral? <laughs> honey, it's, honey, things are complicated. Look, it's not He's, good to be yeah. Admiral. Right? Yeah. This, you know, it's, it's better if you're just Captain. Comes home just like dejected. Oh, right. well, I made Admiral. Well, it's about time. Yeah. You know, Tony made the at, -AT walk in two <laughs> seconds. What do you, you do? <laughs> Look, I'm running the chicken walker. It's a lot harder to walk that thing around. It's only got two legs. <laughs> Love that. That's so cool. That's outer space. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, you know, all in line. A little seatbelt on seatbelt. I know, right? Never noticed mm -hmm. that before. I didn't either. It's so funny. It looks like a like. Look at that. It's it. That's a car seatbelt. I know. Do they have the dice in this one? I think they took the dice out. Mm. I think it was a joke that George Lucas put in there, and then they made the movie, and he's like, "Oh, people take this shit seriously." Yeah. Oh, he's a system, all right. <laughs> system of getting your clothes off and getting you in the bed. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how long they've been on this thing. Hey, hey, Christian. Do you think Carrie Fisher and Billy Williams did it while they were making the movie? Hey, Christian, do you think they did Sorry, it? Sorry, it's become a sixth grade ah, uh, <laughs> commentary. <laughs> We can talk about all the actors doing it. <laughs> Who's gonna have the worst bell movements? Uh, probably Lando. <laughs> okay, but, okay, but sub question. Yeah. Because I want to know at some point how long they're on Cloud City for. It's probably a couple weeks. Feels like at least at right? the very least a week because they've got their own place. Yeah, they're right. stewing in there. Remember, they're like, yeah. oh, when are we gonna? When, yeah. When, so. You know, as a guy who's had his fair share of conquest, not just one night stands, but also the girls you got to work on a little bit, you know that Lando, you. Lando meets Leia, he's going to make a play at some point, right? So he, he, how did that play go down? I don't and how think, successful did he get with it? Yeah, I just like the I don't fact that Boba Fett was tracking him tracking the whole him. time. I think Boba Fett was able to get some love. Some tail. I think Boba Fett, like... Yeah, I think he I had think, like nine wives. And Land, they never Lando was playing it in, in Jabba's. Uh, Lando definitely uh, was uh, aware of the situation that you know Han and Leia had. And I yeah. don't think he made any moves on that right. because he was ready to screw I him bet over. He, I bet he did something. I bet he did something. Like Alec Guinness. Oh, yeah. Ugh. You know what would be cool? It was like to see what he saw right there. Like what that vision yeah, was right. like. They probably would have put that in there if it was made today. You're right. Like do you think you said do you think his vision's the same like, like Ray? static or like, you know, kinetic like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but he was seeing yeah, he was seeing a vision of the future. Yeah, yeah for sure. Although I think Ray saw stuff that happened already. Right. Yeah, but Ray is also like such a raw, untapped source of. The, so you probably once you become a Jedi, you can learn to control those visions and right. like watch them like DVR them a little bit. Look, he's even got like little hairs that he forgot to shave on his mustache. <laughs> the detail on that puff is amazing. Subtle nod here. 
Beep. Tough decision. One, not my meatloaf. <laughs> And joining the party, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we're ready to start the movie? Hey. <laughs> John Bring on them AT-ATs. <laughs> so, John, this movie's called The Empire Strikes Back. Right, we're about halfway, a little more than halfway through it. Tommy right. Wiseau has made his appearance. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that Ray? <laughs> this is the first, we determined, that we realized that this is the first commentary we've done post The Force Awakens. Snap's getting a phone call from his girlfriend. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so, John. Guys, fiance. I'm, I'm going to catch you up in this Thank movie you, in 10 seconds, okay? So I'm going to get a clock on it. And Cox. so the Rebellion was at a cold planet, then the Empire attacked him, so they dispersed. Han and Leia are looking for a place to settle. Luke is training with Dagobah, uh, Zone Yoda. Right. So I'm sure everything's going to work out fine, and we can probably yeah. just skip the rest of it, right? We don't yeah, need probably. to make a third Happy movie. ending, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but their friend Lando is going to meet with them, and everything will be cool. Oh, I like him. He's that Colt 45 guy. Lando's totally. not a system. He's a man. <laughs> He's a man. Okay, now I'm caught up. I would have been lost if you didn't mention that. Yeah. Oh, Great. yes, some excellent uh, special edition graphics. Yeah, but this looks good, actually. Yeah. No, no, this, this was one really of the few. Cool. Th some of the additions they did to the Empire one mm -hmm. are actually yeah. some of the better ones. Yeah, for sure. I don't see many. There's not many changes that I don't like in Empire. Yeah, we got to see the Wampa eating some buffalo wings. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that cutscene we talked about? That one about the Wampa? The Wampa pen, yeah. You know, <laughs> oh you know this is the first time. So because we did that bit about the, the top ten deleted scenes in, in the original trilogy. It's the first time I noticed they're running through the snow base and you see the hazard thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's where right. the is. Yeah. Do you hear the news about, about Chewie? Oh, I was re saw something in my Twitter, the whole thing, that the, that the next movie is going to be. We're going to learn the origin story between Chewie and Han in the Han movie. Right. But yeah. I didn't know where that came from. I don't know. Right. And I was asking him, is that where we find out about the life debt? You're right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not really life debt. Han got a girl pregnant. Chewie had plan B. <laughs> Look at that little space shuttle thing they added yeah, in there. That was yeah. pretty cool. Well, you see Lando in the Lobot. Home. Lobot. Yeah. That's right, yep. ladies and gentlemen. With his Beats by Dre. Way, <laughs> way early model. Man, Lobot is a badass. Oh, wait a minute. This is our first Asian dude. Yeah. This is our first Asian dude in a Star Wars movie. Very I never first. noticed it before. Was he added in in the special editions? <laughs> no, he's there. No, he's he got there the sent whole away. Time. Man, Carrie Lando. Fisher was cute. Yeah. Oh, we've talked about it. Oh, did you? Oh, we've oh, talked she about was it. She's cute. Schnepp's been making sex jokes yeah. about Leia the whole time. <laughs> no, you missed it, John. These guys could not stop referencing. I wonder if Han and Leia hooked up in real life. Harrison hit that. They couldn't stop. Or that. Billy no, did. That. Or Peter no, but, Mayhew. But honestly, I mean, I'm sure you guys covered this too. I I don't think there is any woman alive that more young guys masturbated to See? than Carrie, Carrie Fisher, Fisher in the Slave Leia outfit. Right. See? Like, that is yeah. like the ultimate yeah, spank That is different stuff. than saying, I wonder if uh, Mark Hamill and Princess and <laughs> Carrie Fisher got together. You know, they were trying to get together the whole time. It's a natural thought that I watched the Golden Girls. I'm like, I wonder if any of these girls yeah, ever Mark made Hamill out. was married. Harrison Ford was married. Well, you know Lando hit How that, How are we though? supposed yeah. to know that? Because <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Billy Dee Williams. Right. Come on. All right, can anybody name the role that Billy Dee Williams was famous for playing before this movie? Uh, he was in a movie with uh, Diana Ross. And it was uh, Mahogany. Nope. He nope. was in Brian's song, and he played Gale Sayers oh, and gave so like a teary what? emotional speech. You know, I did not remember totally. that. Yeah. That's a good trivia question. That is good. James Conn playing Lobot's Brian Piccolo. Lobot's little ear uh, beats are going off yeah. crazy style right yeah. there. That's the Empire calling. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with this? Yeah. He's getting sexed. <laughs> It just goes right to your mind. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I think Lobot and Carrie Fisher. No. I think Lobot and Carrie Fisher I got think Lobot together. And Carrie Fisher. Oh, look, there's there an evil one. <laughs> I want to yeah, see a prequel about that droid. Yeah, that's right. I want to see an entire prequel movie <laughs> yeah. about what was he doing before he walked <laughs> and out and of that And what does Ochuta mean? Okay, now listen to the voice here. Stormtrooper. I know, but it sounds like Yoda. Listen. I missed it. It sounds, yes, it's it's like a storm yeah. sounds like Yoda. Yeah. Didn't sound like a storm I always trooper. thought it was an Ugnaught. No, it's a stormtrooper. No, the no because yeah. when yeah. C-3PO comes back too, he goes, oh no, stormtroopers here? Yeah. Yeah. So it must have been a stormtrooper. I never like, put that. I've seen this movie 10,000 times. To the, welcome to the show, Mark. Put that <laughs> together. Hey, Christian, do you think uh, Leia and any of the Ugnaughts? It could have been <laughs> Ugnaught <laughs> dressed Leia as a stormtrooper. Yes. It's, it's a very tiny Thank you. Thank you for that. Man, he should just listen to Yoda. Why don't... Wasn't anybody ever listen to Yoda? I know. <laughs> like, how many times he has to be proven right? Ben over even and over has again. to show up yeah. and be like, "Dude, you're doing something wrong here." Well, I 
Oh, you and McGregor. How did they age him up so well? <laughs> he looks great. <laughs> he looks really old. Yeah. What was his failure at the game? One thing, I, I, I bring this complaint up about some movies, and I think this is the one time it was Empire, with Empire 2. They never really communicated well in the movie. How long has Luke been on Dagobah? Right. We were talking right. about that earlier. Yeah. Was, he, yeah. was he there for 10 minutes and did I think five about exercises? About or we were saying, yeah, probably yeah. between two and three weeks. Well, yeah. no, no, no. I mean, we said the training, the first training montage that we get of him doing the flips and stuff, right. that's like a week, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tweet. Pablo Hidalgo right now and ask him that question. Yeah. You know what? I literally thought you were Dagobah. picking up the remote control of the TV and said, let's rewind yeah. and check, check that like, out. No, Just no, bear no. with us. We'll tell you. How much did Alan, uh, Alec Guinness hate being on being in this I particular know, movie? Because he was over it after the first Star yeah. Wars. It was points. No, I think like, he realized the check right. and he was like, yeah, I'll come back. See, here's what I never really understood, though, is is that they keep telling him, don't go. Like, don't go save your friends. But his friends are going to end up being an, an integral part of, you know, killing off the Empire for good, or at least for 30 years. And all that really happens is that Luke misses a hand. Like, he loses a hand out of the deal. You know, it's like, you yeah, know. They're at least trying to give him some wisdom as he's taken off, like... No, uh, well, maybe. I think Yoda just had a really nice stew he made that night, and he's pissed off that nobody's going to be there to or, eat it with him. Or, or what if they, he had listened to them? He waited. Look, Han was getting frozen in carbonite anyway. Leia gets, gets uh, taken by Vader. Yeah. And what if he would have be, been able to rescue them later as a more trained Jedi? There is another. But then so we don't get to redeem Yoda. Are we sold? Or, uh, are we sold because now they could, they could retcon the, uh, what that meaning is because they right. say, say there is another. Right. Now, obviously. When you watch it, it's it's Leia. Leia, right? But if they wanted to play with that, they could say it was somebody else. Nah, he's talking about Leia. I mean, yeah. they, like, look, I've heard some people mention that maybe he's talking about Ezra, or maybe he's talking about something like that. But like you said, the magic word there would be retconning. Yeah. Right. It would be retconning. Yeah. So they've been hanging out, out the in this ass. little Cloud City area for about a week, maybe for a few a days, days. Yeah. Well, she got a new outfit. Yeah. All right. So thanks to Yoda. Or Except thanks to Lando. Han didn't. I'm hoping that we get an answer before the end of the. That would be awesome if you did. How come I never noticed how short she was before? Like, she's she little. was really... She's, she's always standing on a step, but though, he's isn't still, he? He's still... He's like is six he? feet. He is standing up on somebody. He's, oh, she's okay. little. Man, how young does he look? I don't know. The lighting oh. in that shot is so awesome. Like, so beautiful. Why is Chewie looking for C-3PO down here? Like, how morbid is he? Yeah, well, look, he, he was right. He's already dead. There's an yeah. IG-88 <laughs> yeah. model over She's there. She's got a good intuition. Yeah. It's little pigs. Get out of here. Go back to Lord of yeah, the they're Rings. Messing. I love what they're messing with him. Yeah, they, they play keep away yeah. from yeah. them. Do you think the Ugnaughts are just like Oompa Loompas that like got... like Shafted? Yeah, they, yeah, they just got fired. <laughs> For not singing the songs. You didn't see what Chewie did to the Ugnaughts after yeah, they're the like scene. every like Willy Wonka is just yelling at him, everybody sings the song. <laughs> what I like is the one little token dying house plant they've got behind <laughs> on there. It's clearly dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Han's like, I'm, I'm going to lose. You old smoothie. Lose. <laughs> All right, Lando's It's Almost Easter outfit. You what know? are those little <laughs> pigs laughing about? Yeah. A lot of small talk right yeah. here before the betrayal. Well, no, I mean it's it, it's it's hinting it actually at leads the, up to the, the imperial be, yeah. involvement in that because it's like why there's small development they haven't had to join any guilds. Why? Because they just made a deal with the Empire so much so that the Empire is actually there having Cheesecake yeah, Factory right. with them at this moment. With <laughs> Boba and Darth. Yeah, here's your scene, Ellis. Oh, I love this scene so much.
I love, love it. Yeah. That's kind of the ultimate. We're yeah. screwed. <laughs> oh, I love it. And Lobot. Yeah. David David Prowse tweeted out a, uh, a like a alternate take of that scene, but it's it's like them filming that scene, so you can see like in the corner you have like a prop guy who's throwing the gun. Like right. as soon as it cuts <laughs> and he's out of the frame, a prop guy just biggest the question: gun. Do they actually sit down and hang out and eat? I think they do. Yeah, I just think Vader's proper, that kind of twisted. Have a proper dinner, right. and or, then I'm gonna torture, torture you. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always actually, wondered that. They're actually eating Rogue Two. Yeah. <laughs> they're sitting there and Hans is busy. He's like, I can't believe we got to sit here. Ooh, yeah. tortilla soup. Yeah. <laughs> what are these little thing, green yeah. nuggets? Yeah. They're actually having a good conversation about food. Ah. Oh, it's about time for me to strap you into this weird device. <laughs> so, like, if I'm right, my assumption here has always been that the only reason, because they, they talk to Han, is like, they didn't even ask me any questions. The only reason Vader is torturing them is to cause a disturbance in the force for Luke, to yeah, draw yeah, Luke right. there, right? Okay. Yeah. That's why he says he didn't even ask me any questions. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You yeah. didn't ask. You think Phasma gave it up quick? <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, the head just snaps back on. Right. No repairs needed. Well, that's how Anakin designed it. That's right. <laughs> right. Uh, Darth Vader. Yeah. This is an eight-year-old kid built this thing. What is he working on? There was no moving parts there. No, there's a switch in the back. Hmm. I can fix them. I'll just turn on this on switch. Then he turned it two on. Is this the only, is this the last time that they ever have an interaction? These two, Vader and Han. Yeah, yeah there's nothing. Yeah. I mean, Jedi. minus the the free the freezing. Nothing in Jedi. No. Do they ever? They don't have any interaction in Star Wars either. No. Not really. No. No, they come close a couple of times because you know Obi Wan Kenobi's sword sword fight. He's yeah. lightsaber fighting with him, and then you know he Han sees him runs. across the yeah. thing. Yeah, that's about it. They changed his voice. <laughs> I just realized that oh, they changed Boba Fett's voice. I didn't know that. Yeah. No, I didn't oh. realize that before. I yeah, just we were realized about it. Before. It's one of the. It's just got to suck to be in business yeah. with Darth Vader, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, on C-3PO's defense That's a pretty fundamental mistake Chewbacca yeah. made <laughs> Chewbacca probably wanted it that way on purpose yeah. After, <laughs> you know uh, Riff Raff he was causing on the Falcon I love how Ford plays this scene Look at his face and everything. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's so Han Solo. That's yeah. great. I love how that little slab just yeah. comes yeah. out. Yep. Hard yeah. as a rock, but at least I it's know. there. Here, here's the bed the monster slept on. I know, right? <laughs> Why do now, you smell like Lando? They, changed, they didn't change Han's clothes, but they gave Leia a cha quick, quick change of clothes. Right? Hey. They already tortured her the first time, and that didn't work out. Why would Vader let Leia stay there in the first place, though? I, he's altering the deal, and he's going to continue to alter the right. deal. I pray he doesn't alter it yeah. any further. But why would he even make that deal in the first place? I, because I, I don't think he ever intended yeah. to leave Leia there. I think he just yeah. said that to, to let, a, make Le Lando. Lando play around, yeah. play along. Right. He 
He really is in a tight spot, though. He I mean, is, Lando, yeah. like, he, yeah. he is kind of screwed. Empire got there before that. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's not just his... himself. It's no, all of his people. No, he's his people. Yeah. yeah. Reminiscent to the C-3PO lift in uh, Episode 4. Remember when Obi-Wan picks him up? It's such a great set. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> How many? I bet there's like there's like 28 slabs of Ugnaughts. Frozen Ugnaughts, yeah. The carbonite, <laughs> like just practice ones. Lobot. Just love love watching Lobot. Screaming Lobot. They're like the, the banter in the comics is really good. Him and Lando. Did, did Lobot have to shave his head to get that thing on, or does he just not have hair? Like, the hair is all inside of the Beats, yeah. lo- beats <laughs> thing that he's wearing. It's like Snoop Dogg dreads. John, did, <laughs> you read, the side. did you read any of the Lando comic? No, I still have. Are they done with the run? Uh, I think so. The Lando one, I think so. You got me intrigued to read it. So you should. You, I have it all. Has the collector you, edition come out yet? I don't know, but you can just read it on my computer. You There's a Lobot one shot you can check out. I like how the C3PO backpack now. <laughs> yeah. Anne's got a, one of those Yoda backpacks like yeah, hanging yeah, on the yeah. back of Luke. It, it looks so cute, Hunter. Oh, just this, the shots and the yeah. everything is so well composed. I mean, look how beautiful the light and the orange hue, the, the right amount of steam and smoke, the camera yeah. angles. Like, it's perfect. It's one of the most, yeah. like this whole setting here is like one of the most beautiful settings in all of the trilogy. You know that they CGI, uh, they edited out Han's jacket. Like they, because the original cut, when he's lowering down, they cut, continuity error. Like he had the weight on, and then as he's lowering down, he had a jacket on, but oh, they, wow. but they, really? they edited it out. Yeah. You can kind of see it now. But if you watch the, the VHS, the old school cuts, you'll see it. He still had the jacket on. Yeah. That's a, the, one of the greater things about The Empire Strikes Back is the lighting. Like, every oh, yeah. single scene in this movie is incredibly well lit. Yeah. Like, even that, that shot, like... There it is. Yeah, right there. One you of the, the jacket best on. lines ever. Can you, can you see the jacket? Yep. Oh, improvised line. Yeah, see, look. See how it's colored out? Mm-hmm. Yep. Also one of the best chewy howls. Yeah. Chewy, don't shoot my son. I like <laughs> that little smile he gives her too. You know, like that little yeah. man, we were gonna be something. You know, Darth Vader's got to be thinking, these Ugnaughts are a lot more effective than Stormtroopers. <laughs> I wonder if they can shoot. They yeah. have better aim. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who stole our rug? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great sound effect by the oh, great yeah. Ben Burt. Big slap. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's got to give you a raging headache, oh, like, yeah. even if you're in sure. carbonite, you know? He's just hitting it. There's a fun fact: yeah. the guy who played Bosk also posed for those uh, the hands That's and right. the entire body of the Carbonite, really? uh, except for Han Solo. The face is Harrison Ford, really? and everything else is the guy who played Bosk. Huh. So what Harrison Ford is like, drop by for a day. And he's, he's like, you got my face. I'm That's out. All, that's all you got. Just take my face. I appreciate their relationship. Hmm. I think that was the first big piece of news that that dude ever delivered to Vader, yeah. and he was so nervous. He crushed <laughs> it, though. Yeah. Of course, I'm walking away. It's like, wait a minute. How do I go about seeing to it that he finds his way in here? <laughs> what does one actually do? <laughs> Wherever the landing pad is, close everything yeah. off. And you don't want to... him to see us, right? right. Yeah. So... <laughs> Put the arrows on the floor. Ultimately, they here. fail in that in that respect. <laughs> I 
I bet Cloud City is one of those annoying places where the bathrooms are all locked. Like, you got to get a key from <laughs> yeah, the secretary. Yeah. You need, like, that big, long Gandalf st- yeah. staff in order to... Yeah. I love how you push the carbonite. Like, it just yeah, kind of yeah. floats, it's right? silver, too. Fantastic. Yeah. Lucas. So, since it floats and there's no resistance, yeah. why does it take two dudes to push it? The guard. They're just making sure it doesn't float <laughs> yeah. away. Oh, okay. It's yeah. heavy. Sure, as sure yeah. yeah. Directionally yeah. pushing. Yeah. And the they can reprogram it in, yeah. in case it craps out. Yeah. You know what, John? When you clock in, you just do what the boss <laughs> tells you to do that day. <laughs> this has got to be done right. <laughs> Take your buddy to help you with it. Luke and Boba Fett. You very rarely see that, too. Yeah. Happens Except in for in the, the Christmas comics. special. Yeah. And, and the comics. the Jedi where he gets to jack him up. Yeah. See you later. Get in the Sarlacc. Well, he, no, Luke's just kind of hanging out next to him. He doesn't really. Boba Fett messes yeah. Luke up in, yeah. uh, in the comic. You remember that? You've seen the, the Star Wars comic? No, no. The new yeah, one? The new one, yeah. Because Vader sends him out to go find him. So according to canon, Luke, it, Luke knew that was Boba Fett. Yeah. He had seen him. Yeah. Did no one give these stormtroopers the memo, don't shoot Luke, because yeah. Vader wants him? <laughs> I think that's why they're shooting the wall. <laughs> Admiral Akbar stole that line from her. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like, I think I'm just going to go see Yoda again. <laughs> Maybe I should go back. Yeah. They were only 10 steps ahead of him. How did he lose them? I think Luke is starting to sense something. I think he's starting to smell something right now. Archie couldn't have got through there anyway. No. Unless he flew. Uh, He can fly. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now we get the good stuff. That shot. This would be a great sticker of that shot. Nobody gives a shit. I used to have a trading card of Darth Vader coming down these steps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was the first time I'd ever seen the term Sith because mm. that was Darth Vader, Lord Woo! of the Sith. Right. And I never, that was the shot right yeah. there, him standing up there. It said Darth Vader, Lord of the Sith. And it was the first time I'd ever heard the term Sith. It's one of the best. I mean, this shot is just so, yeah. it's so perfectly set up. What's up, Pops? I love so this. Like, Let's go. Yeah. It's that scream of the lightsaber. It's my favorite sound in Star Wars. You know, Schwartz is his. Big as Mark. <laughs> Makes the first slash of Luke. Luke? Vader's doing it one handed. Yeah. Look at that. Sh- oh, him up. Yeah. so gorgeous. That's the one we love. Vader fighting with one hand. So good. Yeah, Vader just kind of wants to tease him, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's Man, these stormtroopers surrender mustache. quick. Yeah. <laughs> look at that guy. That looks like Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did that, that guy is stoned yeah. out of his mind. <laughs> Helping. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who the hell's Han? Best acting in the he does in the series. <laughs> that's because that's great. Dude, you get choked by a Wookiee, man. Yeah. You ain't swallowing for a week. <laughs> like Leo and the bear. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, only one guy can push it uphill. Right. But along the flat well, corridor, it takes for. two yeah. dudes. Right, right, it's right, the right. directional thing. You just one guy <laughs> can just tip it a little way, you know. Whee, it's a great run. Yeah, that's Gale Sayers, man. Yep. That used to be all a white wall. Yeah. They just yeah. Have to trim that out. I mean, some of the some of those really do help you feel like you're in a bigger environment. Yeah. He calls him Han. Yeah. Look. There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> you could see the slave one in that shot. Yep. 
C-3PO is very selfish. I know. That's for my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Slave One's design. It's so yeah. weird that it's just like an iron. Yeah, it looks like an elephant face to me. Yeah. Like an elephant head. And the legendary oh. bad shooting of the stormtroopers. <laughs> All right, talking smack. Oh boy, yep. they should have gotten those uh, pod race announcers from Phantom Menace to <laughs> yeah. commentate on this fight. Oh god! And Skywalker backs up. <laughs> Never mentioned Yoda. Here's some of that force uh, speed. Yeah, force jump. <laughs> I always thought that was he was like using the mining stuff, like to get up there. I never realized that was a force jump. Yep. No, I think it was, always thought it was a force jump. Most impressive. Most impressive. I see you're not afraid of snakes either. <laughs> I think Vader fell for that. He didn't take him seriously, you know. Yeah. It's like the Panthers. It's got to be humid in there. Look at him sweat. It makes sense because Vader, obviously Vader doesn't want to throw the fight and get killed, but he also wants Luke to tap into his anger. Yeah, so right. if, he, if he has to take a few bullets, that's fine. Yeah. So all of this is just Vader just toying with him to get him to that point. Yeah. Now where'd he go? Although I think at some point here, Luke lands a legit shot. Yeah. Well, he hits so him on the yeah. shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Right before he... Vader lops off his hand. Yeah, it's my favorite Vader sound. Ho, ho, ho! Whatever that is, it's when he gets hit. This sounds like an old man. Like, he made a little oh, bit of the yeah. sound when he got sprayed in the face with the steam. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. ho! Yeah. yeah. There's that corridor. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, they shot Force Awakens. They shot, like, a whole scene with Luke and Vader, like, fighting here in Bespin where um, right. Ray was watching. Really? Yeah, I wonder yeah. if, that, like, this sequence right here. Who I wonder, played Luke and who played Vader? Yeah, I, they, they was like, you, you didn't really see their faces. Right. Mm. They cut it out, huh? Yeah, it's from uh, the reverse yeah. angle of that scene right yep. there. That's kind of cheating. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I, I think I think Vader also too. wants to show he wants to overwhelm him with the power of the dark side. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I don't know. Like this is kind of a really weird recruiting he, trip. Luke gets smacked right yeah. in the face with one yeah. of these things too. It's like that. Oh, oh yeah, if you the behind the scenes is just crew members chucking yep. stuff at Luke right now. It's like, <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. They just say, "Oh, I shouldn't have done that." Yeah, yeah. bad idea. <laughs> you just see all these Ognats going. Get in it. <laughs> okay, didn't mean for that to happen. Still want to know how Moss Kanata got that lightsaber. So that's when the lightsaber goes, right? No, no, no. no, 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 no. He still got it. Yeah. Got to lose they his hand go first. Bridge, yeah. Boom. Oh, that's not very nice. That was Ted. I'm telling you, man, Maz Kanata knows the Force. Yeah. So she can track it down easier than, say, an archaeologist. Yeah, she's the orange Yoda. <laughs> Did Maz Kanata bang Yoda? Or was Yoda married? <laughs> <laughs> he was married to Miss Piggy at the time. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, um... Oh, there we yeah. go. New edition. Yeah. I love his little microphone. What is mm -hmm. that thing? That was oh. Cool. See, Chewie just saved R2 from getting smacked up in all three of the movies from the original trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> so use protection, R2. Like, he had two shots. Yeah, yep. Yeah. 15 feet away, That's straight right. hallway. Perfect stormtrooper. Right in the balls, yeah. real nicely. Nice shot, Chewie. See, Chewie took good cover, though, there, right. so you yeah. can't really blame the stormtroopers for this. No. That was actually good That was shot. a good shot, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know. There we go. 
Wonderful. <laughs> That's an amazing shot. Yeah. R2-D2's got a little Batman going yeah. on in the there. Guy, the guy just saves everybody's ass he always, time and time again. In every movie. Nice shot, shot, Lando. <laughs> yeah, the stormtroopers aren't horrible shots. They're just kind of pussies because they all just hide behind walls when it's like, no. dude, you're pretty that, good. You're, you're going to die anyway. Just that, run that towards That armor them. is worthless. Yeah, the armor doesn't help anything. It's worthless. Now, what is the function of this little structure? Just to look cool. <laughs> That's their internet That's router. Yeah. 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 At least they have at least they have railings. Yes. I know, right? They have railings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's railings throughout. Who mans this, those computers? You <laughs> see this this is a, a brief shot. This is the hallway that the, yeah. the rays in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vader's all business now, double handed yeah, yeah. and everything. Like now now I'm done playing, kid. He's upset. He had to break his favorite yeah. window. Yeah, but this is when he gets whacked in the shoulder, and it's like yeah. it doesn't do—it doesn't do any damage. No. I don't remember him getting whacked in the shoulder. Watch, right? Yeah. He just gets dinged, right? Uh, yeah. I love this move by Luke. Yeah. Hit it and then hit it Boom. again. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Right here. Right here. Oh. Yeah, that's that's kind of like a glancing blow. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, that there was it goes. not a glancing blow at all. Wouldn't have hurt that much though. Would have cut right off. <laughs> it's more Come of a, on. It's an embarrassment thing. Come on. Yeah, back in New York, I used to get my hand caught off all the time. <laughs> Wasn't a big deal. I got. I know he's the bad guy. I gotta say, it's a good sales a good pitch. Yeah. It is, and he's telling the truth. I'm not saying. I don't know what I would do in that situation. I gotta be honest with you. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Mike drop. Rabbit face. Here it comes. Yeah. Claire Dane's face. No, he means rabbit face. So I love it. Looks a little like Klaus Kinski right there. <laughs> rabbit face? Doesn't he have a little bit of rabbit face? A little face? bit. No, really, it's impossible. You're like a robot. That's <laughs> yeah, gotta suck. This is a this is a very mature movie he's about to do right Ballsy here. Ballsy move, now, right? Yeah, a parachute. And and this is why yeah. Han Solo is still alive. Yeah, right. Do you think? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> Plan the, the difference is Bespin doesn't blow up. <laughs> we. I love that they took out that stupid scream. I know. They added it in originally. Oh, now, they, this defies the laws screen? of physics. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> No, he had a little bit of force usage in there, too. Uh, okay, kind of all right, I'll buy that. Magic Space Wizards. Well, maybe if you saw the whole movie, you'd see him training <laughs> with Yoda. John, you know, we actually caught about an hour into it. There's actually, a, they, all the way in the back, there's a space whale. There is a space oh. whale. A what? A space I, whale. I think it's really? A, no. I think it's a space oh. shark, but... <laughs> yeah. No space whale. It's some kind of fish that looks like a space yeah. you know the big, You know the big you carrier know. transport, the, the first thing that makes it through the blockade? Yes. It looks kind of like a shark more than a whale. It's a space fish. Well, space whales, space whales are in Rebels. So are Jedi cats. Oh, no, those are... They're no. in the Jedi cats? Dude, there's Jedi kittens. You didn't know that? <laughs> no, yeah. I did not. Uh, right now, Luke is like, man, I'm glad they got direct TV. I know, right? <laughs> I am messing up somebody's <laughs> signal right now. Yeah. Uh, who's messing with them? It's those Ugnats I know, again. right? They're like, close yeah. the door. Yeah. Hungry? Now, the nice thing about getting your hand lopped off by a lightsaber... Is it's cauterized. It's totally <laughs> cauterized. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't hurt as much. 
Not sure wouldn't hurt any less. Yeah. Here's exactly where you guys were watching sports, and there's like, what's going on? It just phased out right there. <laughs> Luke. Mm -hmm. He's at the 10, the 5. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want some death sticks? How long do you hang out on that, like, before you just give up? Ugh. Maybe, uh, hopefully an hour. Like, like I'm saying, if you don't have any force powers right. and you can't contact somebody. Damn, yeah, as long as you can. Yeah. I think, no, I mean, you hang out on there. You're kind of like Tom Hanks and Castaway, but eventually somebody's going to, like, drive by and, like, see you hanging right. out there, you know? What? Hey, where's Lobot? Uh, he flew off by himself. He's got his own, like, kind of caddy. <laughs> he took the bus. Yeah. No, he's out. Yeah. He took the bots. <laughs> He's got all the metro rails on his. Yeah. He's not even phased. Look at him. He's had a battle with his son and chopped his son's head. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, but he probably spent a long time in his decompression yeah. chamber after this. Remember what thing when Vader says, tell the Star Destroyer to prepare for my arrival? What does that mean? Like everybody's sleeping, right? Everybody, everybody takes a nap when Vader's means, gone. <laughs> we we need grapes. We need uh, we need yeah. crackers. We need cheese. <laughs> oh, look how awesome that thing looks! One hand. Oh, he's trying. What is in the bottom? It's just what happens if you fall off that thing. Oh. Where do you go? Just keep falling. Basically, you, go to where yeah. Luke's lightsaber went. You eventually, your lightsaber. No, but no lightsaber. I think is is in. I don't think it fell into the planet. I think it just fell well, in like, one of those grates or if, something. If those tubes that he fell into were like air intake tubes, which would explain sucking him into it, then a lightsaber would have gone out there too. Yeah, but it wouldn't have necessarily gotten put outside. No, exactly. Yeah. No, so it could still be on yeah. Bespin. That's why I think. Had, well, not anymore. That's that's how they probably found it though. Because she said she had. She said she had it for a long time. You know who found it? An Ugnaught. Probably. Yeah. Those damn Ugnaughts. Yeah. How's his eye closed up now? It was fine when he was on the satellite. Or on the uh, Had time to antenna. swell once it got into the... Mm. Yeah, all that air pressure yeah. blowing into it. I can't see. Did you notice that the TIE fighter lasers were green? Yeah. yeah. They're always green. Yeah. Do you think they were red? All right, that's new, right? Yeah, I did. Or is that, that definitely is new. Is this new? Is this whole scene new? No. no. Uh, that scene actually is new. That's from Jedi. Yeah, I don't remember. They, they were walking off him. the. Uh, yeah. yeah, when he comes, if you watch him that, arriving? that's that's actually from Jedi. Really? Yeah, yeah okay. that's when they of... that's when they greet. Um, uh, th th that's might be where they filmed it, but that's not in the timeline. That's not the beginning. No, of no, the no, Jedi. no, 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 yeah. no. Not in the timeline. That's just a, it's yeah. a shot that they took from Jedi. Yeah. And they were just there. trying to like push it a little yeah. harder. Yeah. That oh, yeah. he's on the Star Destroyer. That's the part Mark Riley hates. Punch it. Fail those people. Yeah, Come I'm on. not a fan of Lando, Lando taking. Han's vest at the end, yeah. though. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Don't punch it. Not my fault. Must have been Han so bad. I love Chewie's reaction. He's so yeah. pissed. Pretty crafty of Vader to be like, yeah. hey, there's this ship. We've been chasing it forever. It's really been pissing me off. Deactivate the hyperdrive. Wow. Look at that detail. This man. is the From second time uh, he's messed with Millennium Falcon. See, yeah. look, is things, Wars, is things gold there? Yep. Wait, the, the leg? It's, yeah. Maybe they got him a new leg. I don't understand kids silver. anymore. And see how his chest is all clean and gold yeah, again? Yeah, they are gold there. Just a few bits. It was all black and scar like scorched. Maybe Chewie gave him a little scrub yeah, down. Yeah, maybe. Was the one that was up. Oh, Chewie well, was yeah, touching him inappropriately. Hard to tell that it was a silver one. <laughs> He's never going to remember this. <laughs> He's never going to remember this. He switched off. Again. He's really accepting of it now. I got to ask mom first. Uh, about that. <laughs> you killed her. Was I choking you five minutes ago? Why are you yelling at me? Yeah, right. 
It just so happened that we have a hand lopped off first aid yeah. kit. <laughs> <laughs> the one in Fog and Sea its fair on. share of limbs that have yeah. been. Ooh. <laughs> Yoda's like, you didn't tell him? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I was going to leave that up to you. That's like, the only way to get out of a fight with they, Darth Vader, is just, just mention Padme. Right, right beside there you go. the now Star Destroyer. Better. It was just like up. the angle. Weird. Yeah. Second. Delusions. First mention. Oh, yeah, right. The second First mention. One. Delusions yeah. of Grandeur. Second, second one is Jedi, Jedi yeah. Uh-oh. He doesn't like, get... He, oh, yeah. Gonna get choked oh, out, son. I'm screwed. He doesn't, though. No, he, no, that, he, he actually has a little bit of a character yeah. arc. Yep. Well, in the, the deleted scene, he, like, talks back to Vader. Yeah. And he's, like, wrestling with the fact he's like, because you know why? Because he knows, like I do, how cute Ewoks are, and he doesn't want to blow up mm. a, you know, system full of them. Whatever. Just this embrace guy's, it. This guy's face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there's a space whales right there. Yeah, there's a space yeah. whales. Space yeah. shark. Space shark. <laughs> I still don't know why Lando stole Han's jacket. He's gonna give it back to him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> give it back. Don't wear it. Yeah. Like you've never worn one of my shirts. Or Not when I'm going to rescue you. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, that that'd be a little weird. If I went on vacation, I came back and you were wearing, wearing a Van Halen shirt. <laughs> strange. I was gone for look, five look. days. Maybe vest. the vest goes with the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Han has a lot of vests in there. Yeah. Though, you know? Well, she, that's like the first kind of throwback to uh, M M uh, New Hope, what she's wearing. Mm, yeah. Totally. There's your boy, Hellas the droid that doesn't do shit. He just likes to spin no, around. No, I mean, he's, he's a useful droid, yeah. but he's just such a dull, like, guy to hang out with. So what did they replace his whole, like, forearm, too? Yeah, all his whole arm. Because he, mm -hmm. he didn't get all that chopped yeah. off. Yeah, they got rid of that. No, they, 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 they got to get in there, man. There. I've had it done on yeah. both hands. Yeah. Robot. Yeah. This is all robotic. Sometimes I can't control it's it. <laughs> Iconic looking yeah. out. I love how they ended this because they didn't try to force a happier ending. Right. Like there, there's a note of optimism, but overall, it's like we we got some shit we got to do. Yeah. yeah, we got our asses handed yeah. to us this round. Hand. <laughs> mm. <laughs> do you think he's coming back? No, he's not. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> Sand and it's coarse. <laughs> uh, so we're all alone now. And, uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that movie. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that film. John Williams just knowing he's owning this movie. Know, right? There's not one part that we were like. And people are uh, like, it's a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's a Irvin Kershner, you rock. It's a perfect mm. movie. Uh, yeah. It is a perfect Such movie. A great film. I think, the, uh, Gary I think Kurtz, it's the Gary Kurtz, amazing film producer. Yeah, See, it's the you, best film of all. You time. like it better than Jedi? I do not. It's oh. the best film of all time, though. It's Lee really Brackett, great. Lawrence Kasdan killed it on the screenplay. George this is Lucas. So crazy. It's my third yeah. favorite Star Wars movie. Was it? You like New Hope better? Just ever so slightly. Well, just, and then yeah. Jedi's my favorite. Yeah, Empire for me. Then then uh, then New Hope. Then Force Awakens. Then Jedi. Uh, and then the other ones. Um, so yeah. closing arguments. I mean, like I said, for me, this is just the perfect movie perfect star wars movie it has all the moments that you kind of wanted it was a it was a great uh i agree with you what you said earlier i don't know if we were on we were recording when we said it but you had mentioned that without new hope obviously you don't get you, this, you this don't movie get the empire no this movie yeah. doesn't mean as much obviously because of what new hope did but this movie just really took the ball and ran with it yeah. man and i and did uh, something different it didn't yeah. just do a reboot or a remake or tell the same story to play it safe they ended with a crazy cliffhanger it yep. got dark all the characters grew it was shakespearean with that whole the, the, i'm your father thing it was it was great it but really elevated it to a new level it did you know and i don't know what it's like to watch the last 15 minutes of the movie <laughs> and get the emotional impact but your take on it well i mean look 
every every setting in the movie was wonderful. Whether you're starting from Hoth, or you go to Dagobah, you go to Cloud City, like every setting played an important role in the progression of the story and was almost kind of symbolic in the first act, second act, third act structure yeah. of it too. The characters are great. It was the right amount of building off the last movie while being its own identity at the same time. It was the most world building as well yeah. too because even like, because if you look at um, how many planets, you have two planets in New Hope? I mean, minus Alderaan blowing up. Right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and then you have... Yeah, you uh, get Tatooine, you get Yavin, you get uh, a Death Star, which is kind of... Right, right. kind of. And this one, you have like three or four planets. Um, and then we, we, we revisit Tatooine in Jedi, and you'll right. really get Endor. And it's so hard right. when you're... Not only you're expanding the universe as far as planets go, but also with new characters. Like, it's you could have just taken these three rock stars and had them go on another mission. Right. right. And instead, you incorporated new characters into the story and made them in, in, in uh, such a valuable part of the entire they war. They introduced like Yoda. Yoda. You got Lando. your Lando. Yeah. You have admirals that Darth Vader gets to choke. I will point out, watching uh, these credits and seeing the cast and you know the crew and stuff, Rogue Two through Four is credited. There is no Rogue One that is credited. So it was either Luke was his call sign was Rogue I think One, it was Rogue Five, or was he? it would have made Who's sense. Who's Red Five? Who's Red Five? They, yeah. they, out of respect for the mission that happened not too long ago, they don't use nobody it. is Rogue One. They retired Rogue One because it was so good when they sold the Death Star plans. Could yeah. be. You know, one of the the really cool things for me seeing Empire again is. Seeing the performance of Yoda, just being a hand puppet, seeing uh, Frank, uh, Frank Oz play it and also operate it at the same time, mm. it's really fantastic. And that character really feels alive when you're watching this. Yeah. You forget that it's a puppet. You forget that it's fake. And you're it, actually watching Yoda come to life. Yeah, that could have been an absolute disaster if it totally. wasn't. So it, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it's, it's an amazing movie, and it carries us to Return of the Jedi, which we're going to do very soon. Um, and, yeah, we finally got to do Empire Strikes Back. I'm glad you got to catch at least the, the second half of Me it, Me too. Um, and then we'll be doing, like we said, Jedi Force Awakens. And then we have a whole bunch of new commentaries we are going to do for you guys. Not only do we want you to comment as you're watching this and your favorite moments, but what do you want to watch? What do you want to have us watch next? I know people putting The Room is out there. Batman and Robin is out there. There are all these suggestions what do you want to have us watch? Good movies, too, would be nice. Um, double Impact, Mortal Kombat. Double Impact, my God. But that's it. I'd like to thank everybody here. John, where can they find you? Uh, find me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just at John Campia. Mark Ellis. You can find me at Rogue One. <laughs> nice, the Schnepp Man. You can find me just on, at John Schnepp on Twitter and Instagram. And for me, you can find me at Christian Harloff, both Twitter and Instagram. Make sure that you subscribe to Collider Video if you haven't done that already. And keep looking for these. Look for our trailer reactions, movie talk, heroes, Jedi Council, the whole nine. We got it. Thanks for watching. That is why you fail. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.